Welcome everybody to Dinkum Day 26. We are here with another one. Yes, we are. Here we are. Welcome everybody. Before we jump into today's episode or today's day or today's video, today's stream, I want to say a special thank you to Karsten and Sue Ann. Thank you, Karsten. And thank you, Sue Ann, for re-upping your memberships uh, last night. I do appreciate that. And a big shout out to It's Zinc. That's right. It's Zinc. Zinc, who became a member last night for the Now We're In Business tier. That's a big one. That's the biggest one we have. That's the most generous one we have. That is incredible. Thank you so much. It's Zinc for becoming a big, big top tier um, member of the channel last night. Very much so. Other than that, uh, let's make sure we hit the like button. Are you guys hyped? Let's hit the like button. Let's do it. Let's go. I want to tell you something. I want to share something with you. I'll share something with you. You ready for this? I got an email. I got an email, right? My email. <laughs> I'll read this to you. This is ridiculous. So I got an email about a company that wanted to do uh, a partnered product thing with me. They wanted me to share their product to the channel. And I'm not going to read you the whole email, but I'll read you a little bit of the email. You ready for this? It says, hello, how are you? I hope this email finds you i have seen all your videos on youtube and i think your audience may be uh may be perfect for our products what is the products three products electric nail drill airbrush and a micro needling pen what are you talking about you haven't seen any of my videos. You say electric nail pen, an airbrush, and a micro needling pen is perfect for my audience? Politely F off. Okay, so that's what that company's gonna do. They're gonna politely F off. Okay, other than that, how you doing? I figured I'd just share a little bit of comic timing with you. That's what I'm learning from Two Point Campus. If anything, I'm learning Two Point Campus comic timing. And that's exactly what just happened. Why does this say zero? I'm a little scared now. This stream is called Mistakes Were Made. Why are the mistakes made? I tell you what. I tell you what. The mistakes were made at the end of the last uh, stream. Why was it? Oh, that's why. I didn't put it in back in my pocket. There you go. Why were the mistakes made? Very simple. The gators killed the other gators. That was the mistake. <laughs> like I, I had no other title to put here. <laughs> That's pretty much it. How's it going, anyone? Hey, Sharon. Hey, Queen. Hey, Susie. Hey, Mrs. Betts. Hey, G uh, Janet. Hey, Serendipity. Hey, Tiger. Hey, uh, Thomas. Hey, uh, Rado. How you doing, Rado? Hey, Amanda Rain. I could do some work with the airbrush, though. They ain't wrong. Don't even start. <laughs> uh, hey, Nerdcraft by Bree. God, how you doing, God? Uh, that's a little weird for me to say, God. <laughs> hey, Avlak, Avlak, Gujar, how you doing? Dixie Trick, how you Rescues doing? Rescues underscore Greyhounds became a member. Rescues Greyhounds became a member? Hey, thank you so much for becoming a member. Rescue get Greyhounds. That's awesome. That's awesome. If that's like actually, if you're not talking about the bus and you're talking about the dog, that's awesome. <laughs> um, we do locally, we do... Um, rescue dachshunds yeah 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 we do that it's pretty it's pretty pretty boss indeed uh did i just get a honey no i got a worm farm dude what is happening today put that airbrush where the sun don't shine baby i got a worm farm i've never had a worm farm yeah hey hey s bayou addy became a member addy thank you for becoming s b bayou addy thank you for becoming a member a tip for good measure too thank you so much i appreciate that Thank you very much, Addy. Big ups to both of you guys. Big ups to Rescue Greyhounds and big ups to Addy, for sure. Okay, so now that we have a freaking worm farm, what do we do with this again? Hey, Juniper. Hey, Amy. Hey, PK. Hey, Marlene. How's it going? Ainworth, how you doing, Ainworth? <laughs> hey, Elizabeth. How you doing, Elizabeth? Uh, let's just do this before I forget about it. There we go. That's, that's all I wanted to do. <laughs> 
I'm rocking a full on five head. There you go. I love to hear that. Lun Lunacra. Lunacra. How you doing, Lunacra? Oh, yeah. Hang glider. We have the hang glider, right? No, we do have the hang glider. This is apparently the banana hang glider. I see it now. I see the banana hang glider, right? I do see it. I do see the banana peel on it. Now, this is what everybody's hyped about. Everybody loves this. <laughs> uh, I'm just poking fun. I'm all poking fun. You already know. There we go. All right, I see you got a nice ruby there. Well, thank you. That's uh, that's exa exactly what the doctor said when I came out of the canal. Uh, thank you very much. You're welcome. Hey, that's a nice ruby there. Yo, Danielle's in there saying hi from Oregon. There you go. Look at that. Hi from Oregon indeed. Sadiq, hey Sadiq, how you doing Sadiq? Hey Freckles. You don't need anything, you just place it down. That's all you have to do for the worm farm? All right, well, big shout to Glitter and Glam. By the way, hello Glitter and Glam. Hey Kayla, how you doing Kayla? I'm gonna get rid of a few things. So we just let this do its thing. We just let it produce, baby. All right, I'm all, I'm all about it, all about it. Just produce, produce, produce. That's all I'm here for. Hey, Game Station, how you doing? Good to see you. Let's see here. Uh, let's just go ahead and do first things first. Reorganization my inventory. Reorganize all of this crap. There you go. There you go. Hope everyone's having a one. What's today? It's today hump day, dude. Today's Wednesday. Hope everyone's having a good Wednesday. There we go. There we go. There we go. We finished off the last um, day, last episode in the mines, right? Um, da, 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 da. God says hello from the Netherlands. Well, shout out to the Netherlands. Absolutely. Sadiq says hi from Lebanon. 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 I can't. I have a hard time pronouncing it. But Lebanon. Shout out to Lebanon. Hey, Cloudy. How you doing? Today is my daughter's first day of kindergarten. I'm so glad to have your stream to help me distract it. Today, a whole lot of feels. Oh, my God. As someone who has never uh, had a child go to kindergarten, but has been a child of kindergarten, I will say kindergarten was probably, the first day of kindergarten was like my worst day of all time. That was the day where I, well, actually, no, I take that back. Kindergarten was not the worst day of all time. Preschool was the worst day of all time. As a child, I hated preschool. Um, I don't know if that's where my anxiety started, but I tell you what, you guys want to know a secret about forehead here? I tell you, I tell you something, it's pretty depressing actually. Um, in preschool, I spent about like one or two years in preschool, right? And um, <laughs> I would get dropped off at preschool. And guess what? I would be so upset. I would be terribly upset. How dare my mom abandon me in this crazy loony bin, right? That's what I was feeling. And they had a window a small tiny window that looked into the parking lot that looked into the street and I would sit in that window all day every day while the other kids played and just hope and wish that she would come back and get me yeah crazy stuff thank you Gujar for the 25 cents appreciate that thank you thank you <laughs> I would, I, I would not play. I would not play with the kids. I would not interact with the kids. I would sit there from 9 to 5. In the window. Waiting. And every car that drove by, I thought it was her. I was like, oh my god. My mom's here. And she never came. Do it until 5 p.m. Until 5 p.m. It was, it was an actual nightmare. I remember that, dude. I don't know if that's where my anxiety started. But I did not want to do anything with the other kids. Nothing. I did not want to do anything with the teachers. I think the teachers thought I was just a forehead. Honestly. So the worm farm just random random generates fertilizer. Don't need to interact with it. Okay, alright. Can you actually craft them in the future, the worm farm? Yeah. You're going to a concert later today. Well, what concert are you going later today? Come on now. I'm not looking forward to tomorrow. The doctor say for my husband with dialysis, a pain clinic. We have to drive an hour to get to them. Oh my lord, to, to a specialist, yeah? Do you live in a rural area or no? There we go. Hey, Leanne, how you doing, Leanne? 
I've had painters repainting the exterior of our house. They're currently working on the doors and all the doors are open. It's 100 degrees here. <laughs> Even with the AC, it's 90 degrees in my house. Oh my lord. That sounds absolutely just awful. Well, at least your house is going to look good, though. <laughs> Minus, you know, a little bit of sacrifice, right? A little bit of sacrifice with the, um, with the, uh, you know, the heat. But, you know, else will look damn well good, yeah? Sadiq says, thank you so much for reading my comment. And you said it right. Lebanon. Lebanon, baby. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much for commenting. How about I say that? <laughs> All right. Um, do I, wait a sec. Is that, hang on a sec. Is that cooked or not cooked? That is not cooked meat. Okay, I need to cook that meat. I don't know where I'm putting my flame stacks. In this game and in IRL. So I gotta figure out where these where these go. Where do these go? I don't know where I put the sacks, dude. Where the flame sacks go? Not in there. Ay ay ay! I think I don't even have them in, in, a, in a spot. I think I just said F them. I don't think I do. I don't! All right, um, uh, we'll just put them in the cooked food for now, I guess. I don't know, dude. It's a little weird. All right, let's cook this up real quick. Hey, Antoniette, how you doing? Hey, Kaylee, how you doing? Hey, Millie, how you doing? The Ginger Empire coming in, just as casual, saying bug catching level 20 equal blueprint from the worm farm. Oh, okay, well, that's a good shout. I had no idea about that. What the heck is our bug catching? Where are we at? <laughs> eight, baby. We're at eight. <laughs> Tiger says, my son did the same in pre-K until one day my hubby decided, nope, he's not going anymore. My kindergarten is kind of scary. I'm the only ethnicity in any class of mostly Chinese. I went to a Chinese school. Oh, really? I see now. Okay, let's see here. Let's go with, um, let's go building. And then what we'll do is we'll see how much this glider sells for. Should I sell it or should I keep it? I don't know. I usually sell them, dude. I don't need no glider. I don't need no glider. Um, <laughs> I don't freaking need a glider. Are you kidding me? What I need a glider for? I don't know where I put the uh, funguses either. Where did I put the funguses? The, the mushrooms, yeah? The mushrooms? I don't think I had a spot for the mushrooms either. I guess I can put them in there for now. All right, one thing I do want to do is I want to go see Clover real quick. I'm trying to find better shoes as well. Yeah. Rescue's Greyhound says, Hi again, wanted to watch the stream, and then YouTube decided to update. Oh, good God. <laughs> By the way, hello, Rescues uh, Greyhound, and thank you. Thank you for the uh, generosity. I do want to, hopefully, you, you you got that message, too. Um, hello, Oomphfoo. Oomphfoo-foo. Good to see you again. Purple Flats, not interested. Not interested at all. Hey, Leonetta. How you doing? She was excited about it once uh, we got her to school, but I was just hope that she was having a good day. Being stay-at-home mom, her whole existence, existence now having her gone, it's different. Yeah. And you know what? The good thing about it is that kindergarten will get better. Don't, yeah, like, no worries on that. Grass floor. What the hell? Why would you want that? Um, it, it will definitely get better as time goes on. Definitely get better. Easier and better. Uh, at least for the child. I don't know about the parent, but for the child, it at least gets a little bit better. All right. When did I get the glider? I got it yesterday. Yeah. I got it yesterday in our stream. It was pretty cool. We got it in the, um... Just finished five loads of laundry. Now I can relax and watch the stream. Smiling face with hearts. Hope you're doing well, smiley face. Hey! Lexi! <laughs> Thank you, Lexi, for the five super chat. Yeah, we're doing all well. We're playing Dinkum. I mean, come on, you already know, right? But, uh, five loads of laundry. Good God Almighty. That's five, right? Five? That thing must have been going all day, baby. So if we were to sell this, we would get $440,000, right? I don't know. What I'll probably do is I'll run a poll. Should I sell it? Should I not sell it? You know, rainbow dress. What? I got to see what that looks like. Yellow uh, waddle vase. I will actually use that. Hang on a sec. Let's do that. Sick, dude. There you go. Anybody need a rainbow dress? Get a rainbow dress right there. Yeah. There you go. 
I hadn't seen that yet. I hadn't seen that yet. Uh, the Waddle, or the Waddle, I, see, I keep wanting to say V instead of W. The Waddle vase could be a good decoration piece somewhere. I mean, honestly, we could put it like right there just to block off that little area for now. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Let's go see Franklin, see if he has anything special. I think we've kind of like exhausted our resources for like crafting recipes. I'll be, I'll be real with you. We don't have anything like to really worry about. Dun, 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 dun. I take it back. The last time they did a census, it was at almost 80k. But yeah, I don't think they are rule. Ah, I see, I see. I I think the last time I did my census, I th I think it was recent. I think I did my census recently. I don't think it was that long ago for me, at least. Hey, Yashiel, how you doing? Okay. Um, so I want to get a repair kit. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and buy a repair kit before I forget. If I forget the repair kit, it's going to be all just hell, right? It's going to be definitely hell. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do... Well, I do want to get this kind of like re uh, rehashed out here. I want to do copper sprinklers. Get that rolling. And then um, I think I'm going to like... I don't know. Do I Should I keep the... Should I keep the gliders or not? Like, I probably won't use it. That's the only thing. It would only be like... Just like bragging rights. Like, oh yeah, I got a glider, dude. It's in my chest. Or I could just dump 440k in my pocket. And get us closer to permit points. Uh, another hit of permit points, because I think we're sitting at 3 million. And so if we get to 4 million, we get that next permit point hit, right? I think that's what I'm, uh, that's what I'm thinking. Let's go ahead and make... I need how many? One? One, two... I think I need three. Three copper sprinklers is all I need. Three copper sprinklers. Hang on a sec. Let's talk to Rain real quick. See what she has to offer. Hello, Rain. Oh, she has carrots. Ooh, carrots. We haven't had carrots yet. During the winter, they grow over seven days. They produce three carrots. Okay, so... 20? Maybe we make 20. Or we make 20 carrots. There you go. Carrot seeds. I could get more kale seeds, too. But, um, yeah, whatever. Whatever. Hey yo, is it? Oh yeah, is the glowing crocodile still alive? That's a great shout. Hang on, let's make, let's take a look at that. Answer that question before we make copper sprinklers. I always forget. They better be still alive. I've busted my ass for them, and they are there. Hey, look at them go. Yo, y'all are actually sick, sick as hell. Look at that. Look at that. Excuse me? What are you doing? The Ginger Empire with the big 20 super chat? That was very kind of you, Ginger. Shout out to Ginger. Big ups to Ginger. Like, everybody, like, big ups to Ginger. Let's, like, get it going, right? Come on now. Smooches? That reminds me of, uh... <laughs> it reminds me of, uh... Uh, Jane Silent Bob a little bit. Or is that different? <laughs> Thank you so much. Appreciate that, Ginger. That was very kind of you. Very kind indeed. Super generous. Um, yeah. Thank you so much. Do appreciate that. On behalf of like everybody here because it doesn't just help me, but it helps everybody. Right? I say thank you because any contributions to the channel helps it keep it going every single day. So that was very kind. Yeah. Very kind indeed. So honestly, this, this is sick. Right? This is actually sick. I'm not going to put a regular gator in here. I'm going to just leave it the glowing gators. I mean, I could put the regular gators, but I don't know. I I, I kind of like the glowing ones instead. Hey! Game Station, Game became, Station became a member. Thank you, Game Station, for becoming a member of the channel. I do appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for becoming it. That was very generous of you, too. Yeah, I, I, I think I'm going to... I think I'm just going to leave them glowing. I don't think I want to put anything else in here. That, that's it. I need to get those guys. I need to get a freaking emu, a kangaroo jack, all these things. What is going on? Why is everybody like so aggroed over here? <laughs> oh my God, stop it. For the love of God. All right, so let's go make these sprinklers. And then what I'm going to probably do is I'm going to probably capture some dingoes today. I guess, or not dingoes, uh, kangaroos, kangaroos. Yeah, I'm going to capture some kangaroos indeed. 
Okay, so let's see here. I need three of these bad boys, so let's make sure we get three of them. We need quartz. Uh, we want uh, 12 quartz. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Okay. We need 12 springs. All right. 12 springs. Let me get the 12 springs. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 11, and 10, 9, 12. I think I actually did that wrong. Old gears. We need 12 old gears. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And uh, 15 copper bars. And then we're ready to go. Absolutely. Smoochy booches. That's it, Christy. Thank you. Now that reminds me of... <laughs> oh, oh God damn it! It does remind me of uh, Jane Silent Bob now. <laughs> All right. 15. And this is the whole reason why we went to the cop, uh, the um, mine shaft the last time was because we needed um, copper, and we got the copper now. We're looking good. We're looking very spicy for sure, for sure, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Sandy. Thank you for the... Hey! Tasty Bacon 20 became hey! a member. Fiona! Fiona! What are you doing, Fiona? Holy the shit! The Ginger Empire became a member. Fiona just dropped a 10 membership bomb on us. What the hell? Tiger Shara became a member. OBS is going to be going ham here for the next three minutes. My God! Fiona! Jinx became a member. Fiona! That was very kind to you. Very kind, Fiona. Bunny Holy Bunny moly. Remember. Wow. Fiona, Fiona, Fiona. My lord. Tiny Kitty Louv became a member. What the hell just happened? <laughs> like, honestly. <laughs> Holy crap, Fiona. That was very, very generous of you as well. Um, So, on behalf of the community... We say a warm and very, very special thank Sarah you. San Antonio became a member. Very special thank you to uh, Fiona for dropping 10 gifted Katie memberships. A member. 10 gifted memberships. 10 people got a membership for the next month. Oh my lord. That was super kind. Big ups indeed. Very big ups. Um, yeah. And now you have access to members' videos, the members' live streams, for the next month. Definitely check those out. Go to the membership tab and just keep scrolling, baby. Just keep scrolling. That was awesome. Good job, Fiona. Big ups, indeed. Super hype it is all the above. My lord. That's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Thank you so much, Fiona. Appreciate that. That was crazy, crazy generous. My lord. My lord. All right, let's hit, hit it here, here. Hey! Audi! About seven and a half dollar. LOL. BTW is music will hatch if you keep it. <laughs> uh, thank you very much, Audi, for that. I appreciate that. For the uh, seven super chat. Or six, six, seven. Yeah, seven. Whatever it is. Um, the question was, is Mew Eggs... Uh, by the way, is Mew Eggs will hatch if you keep it? Um... I don't think so. I don't think the Mew eggs hatch if you do keep it. I think they just exist. Yeah. Because Mew eggs, you can crack open and nothing will come out of them. Um, and, or you can sell them. You can sell them. Early game, you definitely could and want to sell them. But yeah. Hey, Tony. How you doing, Tony? Rebecca. Hey, Rebecca. Hey, JJ. How you doing? Tasty Bacon. I haven't said hi to Tasty Bacon yet. My goodness. Oh, Tasty Bacon got a freaking membership, too. Tasty Bacon is going to be super hyped about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I'm going to do with these carrots is I'm actually going to put... I'm going to full up this fertilizer here all together. Yeah, we're going to go full fertilization here. There we go. And then this should be automatic, automated, no matter what. There we go. How you like me now? Then throw in the carrots. This is the first time we are growing carrots, too. There we go. Big hypes. Big hypes to everybody. Thank you all for the generosity. Really do appreciate that. Do appreciate that. All right. So now we go ahead and we hit it with the, uh, we hit it with the, uh, water can. Yeah. Yeah. The water can. And we'll be good to go, yo. Throw my tin sheet up there. I'll do a poll. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Will I do a poll on that? I, I'm really not sure. I'm going to put the fertilizer in the fertilizer bin, actually. 
That was very awesome of Fiona. Absolutely. <clears throat> let's see here. Um, let's go fertilizer in here. There you go. Awesome. And then throw it in with this. Okay, they're gonna do it themselves. All right. Well, you know what? Whatever. Y'all, y'all get into this. There you go. Got some permit points for that on accident. There we are. There we go. All right, way ahead of you. All right, you finish it off. Finish it off. Okay, cool. Uh, shovel is getting a little bit dry. Uh, let's go ahead and throw the jackhammer on the on the charger too. Da, 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 da. There's another Fiona. Hey, Fiona. <laughs> hey, Fiona. The second Fiona just spawned in chat. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Like the way you say library. Hey, Jefferson. Mistakes were made because I'm a terrible animal keeper. <laughs> I'm a terrible animal keeper. I put two crocs, or I put four cock, not cocks. God damn it! I put two crocs, one glowing, two glowing, two not glowing, and they accidentally fought each other. They did. They accidentally fought each other. I did not put two cocks in the same pin, and I did not have two cocks fight each other. You can take that non-genitalia, and you can take that definitely uh, chicken coop. So don't worry. I didn't make a mistake as I thought I was. I said cox on accident, but it, I could be referring to an animal. <laughs> I could be referring to a uh, to a chicken. You don't know what the hell's going on. Oh yeah, I also want to put um, I also want to put uh, sprinklers in here too, and I probably will go shoot iron or something maybe. Something rather? Yeah. Oh, look at that fertilizer intake there. That's good. That's good. Thank you. Let's go and hit it with some seashells now. There we go. I know what I'm talking about, baby. There we go. Oh, they take 20? Is it like 20 or 25? They take way more than like Rupu and stuff. They take so much more. Okay, put the shells in there. We're almost out of shells for fertilization. <laughs> Dang. There we go. Okay. Got it, baby. <laughs> have I tried hanging out with the villagers yet? I have tried. I have hung out with the villagers before, but I haven't done a... Um, what is it called? A... Uh, I don't want to actually. I shouldn't pick these seashells up. I haven't done a um. God, what is it called? Uh, a mining or not a mining? A uh, uh, yeah, yeah, kind of like a, a digging, right? Going out expedition with them, which I do plan on doing today. I do plan on trying the expedition thing, kind of like do the whole metal detecting thing with the NPCs today, because that's something I haven't done yet. Let's do that. Uh, put that. Oh damn it! Now my inventory is getting all junked on me. Where did you get the candle hat and the shovel combat? I got the candle hat from um, from doing a quest, I believe, with Sally. And then I got the combat or the battle shovel from Ted Sully. Yeah, the traitor. Hey, Adele. It happens. Yeah, yeah, you're right, Rebecca. It does happen. It <laughs> happens from time to time. It just comes on out. Okay, so let's go over to... Let's go grab our jackhammer real quick. Yeah, we'll grab our jackhammer. If I'm going to ask anybody to go out with me, it's probably going to be... Well, I think John's the only one that's going to be remotely interested. And then we can go find some stuff. Metal detect. And I'll have him, like, dig. Right? And we'll see. You know what? We could probably do that today. Maybe? Maybe? Actually, I don't know how that works on his, like, working day. He only, he only comes out on his day off, right? They only go out with you on their day off. So they won't, like, step away... So I have to wait till Sunday to do that. Okay. I get it now. 
Um, let's put away the cage. Actually, let's not put away the cages. I was thinking about doing the Rue thing. I need to build the Rue enclosure if I'm going to do the Rue enclosure. So, yeah, I'll put this away for now. Might as well bring the bug net with us for, for you know, for now. Uh, bring the metal detector as well. Uh, fishing. Yep, fishing as well. Uh, guitar. Hit me with the guitar, baby. We'll go give them a nice little, uh, pet. I should probably, like, shear the pleeps, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. There you are. There you are. Yeah, chicken, chicken, go cock, cock. Hey, Obel, how you doing? Hey, Zoe, how you doing? Hey, Blade Killer, how you doing? Hey, Rob, how you doing? Ashley Lee, how you doing? Ashley, I just do what I can do when I can do when I can do. <laughs> Your reactions. No, 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 no. So this, did this work, yeah? I can't tell. That's not watered, right? So it would, oh, because there's not a water tower here, you son of a gun. I got it. We put the water tower possibly in the park here. Yeah, that's what we do. We build a water tower and we put it in the corner of the park. That's what we're going to do. Yeah. Yep. All right. I feel you. I feel you on that. This is actually a pretty hefty uh, thing to make too. So let's go hardwood planks, uh, tin sheet, old contraption, some iron bars, and some nails. Hmm. Okay, that's paint. I always go into the paint. Give me eight iron bars, please. Eight iron bars. There we go. Wonderful. Give me nails. Eight nails. Damn it, I have three nails. Give me one engine contraption. Give me... 15, 15 of these bad boys. There we go. Hey, Brian, how you doing? <clears throat> Literally me two days ago. I went three days in game before realizing I was missing a water tower. <laughs> okay. Uh, I actually need, I need one tin, tin. Give me one tin for the nails. And then give me hardwood plank. Do I have 15? Oh, I have plenty. 15 hardwood plank. There we go. All right, let's build this bad boy out. <clears throat> How do you get saddles? Yeah, you get them from the dungeons. So let's see. We have enough except for the nails. Let's make the nails. Nails first. Hmm. Let's see here. And then let's go with... The water tower. Okay, wait a sec. Before I do the water tower, how many tiles is that? Ten tiles out. So yeah, that should be fine. I should be able to do this. No problem. Let's do it. And then I'll put it over here in the corner. And it kind of will look nice in a way. It'll kind of look nice. Like, I don't know. It adds character to uh, to the side of the... Um, I don't know. I, I I don't know. I think it adds character of some sort, uh, some sort of degree. There we go. Oh my god, are you actually kidding me? There you go. There we go. Adds a little bit more character. Right? There we go. Anybody want to come hang out by the water tower? Yeah. Where did you have your first kiss? Oh, you should have known. It was by the water tower, dude. That's where me and Stacy went. We went in to our amazing thunder egg fountain sat down on the bench next to the water tower and we shared our first kiss why i dyed my hair purple when i had a freaking candle coming out of the top of my head even though it looks like there's a plunger on my head so it's like an upside down plunger that's where we had our first kiss duh you should have known that don't be a forehead How's everything going out here? Everything doing well? The kale is doing well. Yes, the kale is doing well. Well in the kale. Hey, thank you, uh, Hell... Hell's Remorse? Holy hell. Uh, for the <laughs> subscription. <laughs> Appreciate it. It's a little bit junk janky out here, but I do plan on actually fulfilling this complete completely today. Making it look proper. 
hopefully in the update in a update we can label chests i'm right there with you caesar like uh i agree 100 percent on that okay so let's drop off the shells that i don't need now Yo, the rupu there we are i agree if we had um just you know labeled the chest it, it'd be so much easier right so that is working so those are working i don't well actually that's not working because that's that's just the uh, we don't know if it's work, working actually those are just uh, the npcs that are watering it all right, all right so i'll finish watering it and then we'll see how that goes in the meantime i kind of low-key want to repair i do want to repair my um i do want to repair my uh my battle axe it might be a waste but i don't know 30k is not really much of a waste put that light there we have another hardwood bench that we can put anywhere should i put the bench right here in front of the beehive probably not <laughs> uh i don't know where to put this bench i guess you could put it like right here if you wanted to so people can look out into the ocean sure dude oh look at this this is almost done yeah almost done k-a-n-z baby that's how you like it look at that is clover open today clover oh thank god what the heck is this a space helmet no 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 i'm looking for just like better shoes tradey boots i want like just regular like converse modern glasses please no damn it clover you're striking me out here thursday that means melvin's closed it's a plunger on fire. It's exactly right. By the way, hello, funeral host. <laughs> Good to see you again. All right. Um, cooking some garden salad. Cabbage. Okay, that's something we haven't grown either is cabbage. This is the next thing I want to work on. So let's see here. If I want to do iron sprinklers, I would have to go... I would have to go this one, right? Because it's two tiles out... I put it right there. Two tiles. Two tiles. Two tiles. So if I got rid of that, that would get us something. Now it's gonna cost us a bit. In case and there was a comment uh on the last stream, in case people didn't realize, you can't just make iron sprinklers or advanced sprinklers. You have to make copper sprinklers to make the advanced sprinklers. So I think there might have been someone saying it's cheaper just to make the advanced sprinklers than the copper sprinklers. But that, no. It, you have to do the copper. You have to do copper to get the advanced one. So there we go. So really what we're going to need is we're going to need a couple of these bad boys actually. Again, I don't know if I have enough copper bars to do it. Hopefully I do. Right? Hopefully I do. I should. I think I just need two for now. Two for now. Let's see. Okay, hit me with that. Hit me with eight gears. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then hit me with the uh, old spring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit me with the old springs. Where are the old springs? There you go. Eight of these. Maybe we go see Jimmy today too. I'm hoping. And then eight quarts. Any tips on making dinks? Best I found is fishing with book and ocean. Can usually get 250 to 300k in 7 to 8 hours. But wasn't sure if mining was better. Uh, definitely go mining. Yeah. Uh, well, go to the mine shaft. Go to the mine shaft. Get, prioritize the mine shaft. Prioritize the mine shaft. Get the mine shaft unlock. Go into the mine shaft. Get the rubies. Go ruby hunting. Go dungeon hunting. Get the stuff from the dungeon. The good weapons the hang gliders whatever you want get the rubies sell them that if you're wanting to make a lot of money fast early on that's the best way look at our catalog well yeah i mean look at our catalog there's a specific item i'm looking for though i'm looking for um i'm looking for theodore's glasses i have theodore's vest i want theodore's glasses now but I'm having a hard time finding his glasses. And I haven't unlocked them yet. So it won't be in her catalog. Just because I haven't obtained them quite yet. How many do I need? Ten? I'm already running low on ores, man. What is this? Springs? Gears? Cylinders? Okay. 
eight of these. Hit me with the spring. And a cylinder or two. Two cylinders. There we go. Okay. Hey, Lean, how you doing? Long time no see. But the vacation is so busy. We'll be back more in September. Hey, they <laughs> vacations, vacation, baby, right? Can't argue with that. There we go. Okay. Don't move. Actually, get away. Go away. Go away. Go away. So this should do it, right? So that sprink. Oh, damn. I'm going to need a water tower over here, ain't I? <laughs> I'm gonna need another water tower over here, huh? Yeah, you're right. Another water tower. We're gonna have water towers everywhere, aren't we? Too bad you couldn't like run an irrigation system, right? I used to work in irrigation systems a long time ago, once upon a time as well. Um, very hard work. It's very hard work, but like, there's the benefits of like working on a hot day with irrigation systems. You're working with water, <clears throat> so there was always like that little bit of um. Oh yeah, here's some water, you know. <laughs> sometimes but let's go two it will go two two so the only thing that wouldn't get watered <clears throat> would be this line here and i think i'll probably just like get rid of that line so that will go there then there and then there and then this might be a little overkill excuse me watch out watch out melvin there you go and then we can back this up a little bit so what we'll do is we'll trim this side right here and then we'll back it out on the other side. That's what we'll do. So this, this, don't break your battle shovel. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I got you, I got you. Okay, we'll get rid of that side. And then we will go one out here. Yeah, that's what we'll do. And that should work just fine. Yeah. What the heck? Uh, thank you for subscribing. Hey, Gregory. Thank you for subscribing as well. Okay, so this is what we'll do. Now, I don't know if, they, if they'll let me place it on this. Oh, they do. Okay, cool. So we'll just place it that way. There we go. And then we'll have to make a water tower and everything. But that would be at least another field. Um, oh, God damn it. Another field automated, right? And then let's get rid of this if we can. There. I don't have my shovel on me. Gosh darn it. Hopefully that goes away. That fertilizer in that tilled soil. Okay, then we'll go like this and like this. Damn thing. There we go. Okay, cool. Yeah, that, that should work out. And then I'll build the water tower in the back here. Yeah, I like it. Picasso. Everybody all together now. Picasso. Are you, are you going to convert all your money into permit points? Uh, no. I don't have a lot of money as it stands. Hey, Sean, how you doing? <clears throat> Hope you're doing well. Oh, yeah, shoot. Looking for shoot. Christy, how dare you? How dare you figure out what I was trying to do? You're making a strong point, Christy. God damn it. See, this is why you're in chat. You keep me on my two, on my, on my two feet here. Um, I wanted black sneakers. Yeah, give me that. Actually, I kind of regret that. <laughs> give me the, um, I think give me the black shirt too. 7,500 for a black shirt? What in the freaking Hanes is all that all about? Okay, give me that, give me that, da, 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 da. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Adventure hood, chef hat. We had that conversation yesterday, or the last time we streamed, about the whole chef hat. Or not the chef hat, the, um, the, uh, what is it? The, uh, adventure hat. I was like, what the hell is an adventure hat? By the way, hello, Lalu. Ladora, hi, Ladora. <clears throat> you got into the Discord, but don't see the video he made of the P.O. Boxing? Uh, just go into P.O. Box. It should be there a video, yeah? Go into the P.O. Box tab. Uh, ooh, the raincoat's kind of cool. I kind of forgot some of these things. Because, you know, I don't know. Day 26, it's been a while. <laughs> the googly eyes. The googly eyes. That's the Jefferson glasses. 
<laughs> Alright, this is good. This is good. Fletch, Kaylee just, listen, ladies and gentlemen, L Kaylee just said, Fletch just gave me the candle hat for $809, or dinks. See, we have another person now getting on the candle hat. Kaylee is probably super excited. Oh, that's wonderful. Mm. All right, let's repair this son of a gun before I break it. There we go. Everything good there. Hey, JJ, have to keep logging out in and in because I'm at work. Priorities, Dinkum. <laughs> good to see you, JJ. Um, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's do... Let's go into our raw food first. And I would like to get a bunch of 50s, right? That's the thing. We want 50s so that when it rains, we can talk to Jimmy and say, Hey, Jimmy. This is, this is what 50s is. This is the 50s, right? Absolutely. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. If you have a water tower, you have to connect sprinklers to it to water the crops. They just have to be in a 10 tile. 10 tile. It to be 10 tiles. The sprinklers need to be within 10 tiles of the water tower. Anything else I can dump off here? It's the cooked meat or the raw meat. There we go. The flour in there as well. There we go. You know what's sad today? To Den but like not Danielle, but uh, Bella's not hanging out with me today. She's not in her chair today. Ain't that a shame? Put the nails back. Put the nails back, baby. There we go. Okay. What else? I'm kind of tempted about dumping this hang glider, dude. I really am. You can see me not using it. I don't know. 440k. Don't sound too bad to me. Plus to give us some more permit points, yeah? Put this in. Put that in. And I guess I should put the bottle uh, bottle brew away too. I don't need it at this moment either. <clears throat> put that there. There we go. Hey, Bill. How you doing, Bill? Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Hey, Sabby Sabby says, just drop it in by to say hi. It's upsetting to be able to catch you live and not being able to watch. It's almost 4 a.m. here, but I am only on day 9 anyways, and I have no clue how to catch up. <laughs> Wait, what? You have no clue how to catch up? <laughs> by the way, hello, Sabby. Um, I, I mean, Fort uh, Baldy, thank you so much for subscribing. <laughs> um... Uh, you don't know how to catch up. I, I'm a little confused, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the times. I know it's, it's definitely upsetting. It's definitely upsetting for sure for some people, but unfortunately we all live in a, in a world where time zones are just something. And I just, there's no way I can, I can definitely please everybody. Unfortunately, I can't. I wish I could. I wish I could, like, live stream and be on a perfect time for everybody. 4 a.m. is a son of a gun, yeah? I tell you what. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. So, anything in the recycle bin today? No, we already took that out. All right. Very good, very good. Let me go ahead and crack these things. Hopefully there is maybe a freaking key. I want to get more quarries. But I just don't want to spend the money, though. I want to get more quarries, but I don't want to spend the money. I don't. Have I played multiplayer? I have not. I have not. Dump the glider. They are useless, in my opinion, because you're limited by stamina. That's what I thought, too. That's what I kept saying, but everybody kept saying you're wrong it doesn't matter you barely lose stamina and i get it i get it but like um i don't know i just don't use them i, I don't i don't use the uh, gliders once you get the helicopter the glider is just like what's the point right there you go 
Let's see, let's see. Did we get anything good? Oh, another bee house. Oh, we're getting very lucky on our gotcha machines today. We got a bee house, a worm. We got two things from Clover. Well, these are the things that we wanted. So never mind, not too exciting there. But the gotcha machine's coming up clutch today. So let's change out our outfit here. Put on our black sneakers, put on our black t-shirt. Now we're really starting to look like a forehead, kind of. I just need to get better shorts. I need to figure out better shorts and then get my glasses all situated too. Yeah. Face bandana black? I don't think we've had the black one before. Now we're really looking at it. <laughs> Oh, look at that go. It's going, baby. So that goes. But those don't go. Oh, is that not 10 tiles out? Wait a sec. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's not. Oh, baby. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. So that doesn't work. All right. What if we do this? What if we put the water tank? Now, that was a guesstimate. I, I will tell you. That was a big, very big guesstimate. What if we put the water tank behind the bank? Does that work? We'll have to see if that works or not. That's a little disappointing. We were just short by like a tile or two. Yeah. 100%. Just short. Adi became a member. Adi with the five gifted membership bomb. Shout out to Adi. Big Adi shout. Became a member. Hey, that was very kind of you, Adi. Very kind of you. Very, very kind. Thank you so much. The SRD became a member. And congratulations to the people that picked up the uh, gifted memberships as well. On behalf of the community, I say and thank you, Adi. We say thank you, Adi. For the kind generosity, for sure. That was very, very kind of you. Thank you so much, Adi. Brian Duke became a member. Big ups indeed. Jet ski. We have not yet built the jet ski. But we should be able to ride the jet ski. If we can ride the motorbike, you can ride the jet ski, right? We have not made a lawnmower as well. Now, if I were to trade a glider for a jet ski i think i would be i would say yeah 100 percent. kind of tempted kind of tempted indeed now how's this going this isn't going to anything because we need a water tower all right so let's see i don't think i have enough resources though to build a water tower i really don't think i do i think i've ran out of resources though Six out of eight. No, maybe I have enough. I need two more iron bars. Yeah, I got enough. Okay. Okay, there. Um, I'm going to need a little bit more nails. I am running very, very low. Old contraption. We got that. Old contraption. Ten sheets. One, two, three, four, fourteen. Oh, yeah, fourteen. I already have one. Hardwood. I don't know if... Do I have enough hardwood? I do. Thank God. 15. All right. We'll make this out too. There we are. And then let's go do it. Yeah, congrats to all the new members. Absolutely. Uh, let's see here. Let's go with... Sorry, nails. And then we'll get this next freaking water tank in. Yeah. There we go. Okay, we'll put this bad boy right back here. Nothing too serious. Um, maybe, I don't know if I can center it. Can I center it? I guess that's kind of, no, that's not really centered. We'll just place it right there. That's fine. Okay, so now that field should be ready to go. And no problems there in the future for tomorrow. So that's good. Nice. I'm sorry, what did Shady Knight ask? Hang on a sec. What did I, what, what did Shady Knight ask? 
What the, what the, what the heck was it? Was it? Was it? Was it? Was it? Was it? Um, do, 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 do. I saw somebody say something about rather have I done or something stream. Speeder of the Island looks interesting. Just not sure if I would want to play it yet. Need to watch some streams of it. Yeah. Uh, Spirit of the Island, we did stream it, and we did play it early access. It did, I was told today that it did, um, this morning at least, it did go into, uh, full release. And, uh, we only played, like, I think a day or two of it, but I needed, um, more content. So, hopefully the full release is definitely, uh, is there. But yeah, we did stream it back in the day, or back when it first came out on Steam. Da -da 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 -da. Wanted to do this a long time ago, but I've always missed the live stream. Oh, that was very kind of you, Adi. Very kind. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for that. So, with these guys going on over here, um, we also have kangaroos. Now, the thing about the kangaroos, if I want to go get the kangaroos, I can go get the kangaroos, right? Obviously. But, there's a big but with this. The kangaroos... Should have a full-on flat surface. They should have a full-on flat surface. Yes. They should have a ton of places to run. Because they're freaking kangaroos. So I'm thinking about capturing two kangaroos. And see where it takes us. Probably water my sugar cane too. There we go. <clears throat> I think I would rock as a peaceful miner. <laughs> the jet ski's fun. Uh, we would need more hardwood to do that, though. I'm going to have to probably go out and get some more hardwood. Get my compactor and uh, probably sell the glider. Yeah, I'll probably just sell the glider. I'm not going to use it. I'm not going to collect it. If I could display it... Now, hang on a sec. <clears throat> I don't think... I actually, no, I can't. I was say, if I could display it, I would display it. But... I mean, I could, like, build a sign and then place the sign with a glider and just pretend like we've had it. But I don't want it to sit in a chest and do nothing. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to actually go and I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to do like a collection. Like uh, this is going to be my version of a Pokemon card. I collect the banana. That's going to be it, right? What do I need for this? I need a mangrove stick. I need gumwood and hardwood and I need some nails. Yeah, this is going to be like my Pokemon collection here. But it's going to be with uh, hang gliders. Just so it's like, hey. I have, it, it's like a subtle flex. Like, yeah, I, I, I did that. But then I also, like, got rid of it. <laughs> it's a gumwood. Gumwood. That's what I'm going to do. Just so they are at least represented. They're represented in the town. Right? Let's go here. That's what I'm going to do. Da, 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 da. See, now for the uh, jet ski, I would definitely use the jet ski. To get to Jimmy and stuff like that. Ashley says, Kans, ha how did you get the water into the enclosures? I missed that part of the stream. Uh, it was very hard and very uh, long and drawn out. Uh, what I did was I pulled out the compactor. And what I did is I cut the water through from the ocean. So I went from the ocean and I drove the water into here. And I've been using that kind of ever since. Um, and then I covered that back up with dirt. That's how I got the water into the enclosures. So I took it from the ocean. Same over here. Um, I took the water here um, and drove it into there with a compactor as well. Hey, Danger. How you doing? Danger says... Um, uh, Hi chat, hope you all well. Been working and lurking now home, so can watch. I can, I can, th I think the jet ski is the best vehicle in the game. Big shout. Okay, so this is here. We'll go like this. We'll go 
uh, put the hoe away, and then we'll we'll put the hang glider on the the sign. Right? We should be able to do it. Yeah, dude. There we go. Now people will know I was a banana, or I had a banana, or I have a banana, or I had a banana. That's what we'll do. And then we'll sell it. So now it's represented on the island. It's represented. It's there. It's good. I will sell the checkered vest, black boots, face bandana, and I will sell the glider. And that's all I will sell. That will give me $447,000 and I will sell it. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. And there it is. Look at that. I mean, that's kind of cool, right? I mean, just to have it represented like, ah. That's at least something we've collected, you know, for sure. Okay, let's put down the beehive now, or the bee house, bee house. Hey, Paul, how's it going? Dun, 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 dun. We'll put the beehive, bee house right there. I could harvest that, but like, honestly, <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Okay, nice. Talk to Mr. Melvin, see if there's any furniture going on here. Blue pattern wall, no. Blue or cube, sorry, cube. I like this. Nice little just wooden chair. Dainty pink, everything. You're killing me, Melvin. You're killing me. Yeah. Putting a sign is an easy way to keep it. Very easy. And you get to see it, too. Yeah, and you get to see it on display, right? And now we're almost up to our next million. And once we get to our next million, that's 3,000 more permit points in our pocket that we can spend. Right? So it's all good. Um, somebody said this in the last stream, which I'm going to do it now. Uh, somebody said to put the motorbike next to the mineshaft so that I will never forget the motorbike. And that's what I'm going to do right now. So that was a good shout. There we go. Awesome. Um, where is the jackhammer? We'll grab some of this. Let's go and grab a little bit of this. Gavin! Gavin, Gavin Beard. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So, um, let's talk to Rain now. Oh, wait, she's closed on Fridays? Oh, damn it, she's closed on Fridays. How dare you, Rain? Okay, Fletch, I want to see what our book is at. Four and a half. So, so close. Very, very close. Happiness is something we definitely need to work on eventually. Happiness is probably going to be like one of the things I do like maybe last. I don't know. Building license, vehicle license allows the holder to purchase and pilot a flying vehicle. Right. Allows the holder to purchase, uh, holder to use the planting attachment on the agriculture. Oh, there's a planting attachment. I see. Commerce license allows the holder to receive 10% more. I guess the next thing we go for is agriculture vehicle license, right? Having the ability to plant, or maybe we just go for flying vehicles. Because I'm not making, like, massive farms. So that would kind of just be, like, pointless to do with the agriculture. You know? Did I ever get my fishing up? I did not. I do want to get another fishing rod, too. All right, let's see if we can dig up a couple of things, too. La, da, 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 da. Can they make more money? Can they make more honey if you don't collect the current honey? No, no, they don't. They just, uh, they just, uh, stay on that one slot until you harvest it, yeah. We do need more of these, though. We do need more resources like this. Are you going to complete the tractor build? Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. I mean, thinking about it, I mean... we pro I mean, we will eventually, right? I just don't know if that's the next step that we're going to take. Just because it's like, you know... I do need hardwood. That's why I came out here, too. It's just like... I don't know. I don't want to make massive things of, of, of farms, right?
But da 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 da. Hey, Krager. Honey money. Honey money. There you go, Krager. <laughs> How you doing, Krager? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for the generosity. I do appreciate that. Thank you so much. Hope you're doing well. Look how often we find these beehives, though. Paul says, I was wondering what the barrel-looking thing is at the end of your composters. That is the worm. Uh, the worm thing we got today. What I don't know what the hell it's called. Worm farm. It's the worm farm. Yeah, the worm farm. That makes fertilizer. Quality fertilizer. You know what we should do? We should put this beehive next to the honeybees. That thing. Yeah, that thing. That's the worm farm. Put it in the back. <laughs> well, we need more hardwood, baby. Yeah, the glider. It, there's a couple of gliders in this game. We had the cheapest glider. That that yellow glider was the cheapest out of that out of the other gliders, or the like the red glider or whatever. Um, the other glider sells for four hundred and eighty. That glider sold for four hundred and forty. I've not seen, I don't think I've seen the red one. I've never seen the red one. We need trees, baby. I don't know if I have a I don't know if I have a high enough relationship with Rain to make uh, to give us the metal detecting, but I'm definitely going to do the metal detecting with John on Sunday. But I don't think cuz John is the only guy I know of, maybe Fletch that has an incredible relationship with us. I don't think Rain has a good relationship with us. We don't have a lot of hearts with her. But I know John is. So I'm going to I'm going to make Sunday holy day. It's going to be a holy John day, holy moly day. Let's go find a whole day, like a holy day, not like holy as in like spiritual. Holy as in like there's a hole in the ground. <laughs> Hey, Lilium, Lilium, how you doing? Da, 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 da. You can, oh, dude, there's a key. That was so lucky. Um, okay, listen to this. Somebody told me that they spent like eight hours in the game searching for... Like, they went metal detecting for, like, eight hours. And they ended up getting 16 keys in, like, one day. I can't get that. I can't get that luck. By the way, Shannon. Thank you for subscribing, Shannon. I'm not getting that luck, man. The, the tractor doesn't seem to level up your farming. Is that right? That's actually something to think about. Really? The tractor doesn't level up your farming? I had no idea about that. Well, that's not good. Especially at least early on for me, eh? You know? There's another uh, beehive. It's amazing day. It's hum day. Very good, Krager. Yeah, I do want to catch the shark of my dreams. You're right about that, Paul. <laughs> I definitely want to do that. I'm kind of itching towards the shark. <laughs> Jimmy sells the red one. So can you not get the red one through the dungeon? Is it just a Jimmy purchase? Or can you still get the red one in the dungeons? There's a red glider. There is a red glider. I've seen the red glider. It goes for 480. The Scottish taco. Well, hello, the Scottish taco. You got the red glider from Jimmy. So maybe it's just a Jimmy thing and not a dungeon thing. There we go. Look at all these cactus figs, dude. Am I eating okay with Danielle gone? Um, I'm surviving, baby. Yes, yes, I, I, I think I am. I, I think I am. I don't know. It's one thing that she's that she was super worried about 
is she's like make sure you're eat because when i'm like making videos when i'm streaming when i'm recording when i'm editing when i'm doing all this and this and this i tend to forget to eat i know that's weird to say but i do tend to forget to eat so she's more worried about like are you gonna make sure you actually eat so i think i'm doing a, an okay job <laughs> i think so all right let's see here let's go and kind of flush this out real quick we'll get these logs done these planks. I almost have 40 keys and haven't gone to the mine yet. Early game, I racked up 96 keys and now I'm down to almost 10. <laughs> Did you eat while Danielle is gone? Are you surviving? Do you need Uber Eats? I don't think we have Uber Eats where I, where I live. I don't even think I do. I think the only thing I have is DoorDash. I don't think we have Uber Eats where I live. But yeah, <laughs> I got a uh, a DoorDash gift card in the mail the other day too. <laughs> I have about sixty keys. I had sixty four. I think I found two dungeons last time or last night. But I'm not very good in the mines. Jimmy, the recycle bin is the only place I've ever seen the red glider so far. Sixteen hundred permit points for this for the red glider. Is that what it is? 1600 I mean, is that worth it? I mean, I guess, if you want to turn that into money. Yeah, having a candle hat, and I think I just got lucky early on, it definitely helps. A candle hat and a, and a torch definitely will help you in the mines for sure. Hey, Sydney. How you doing, Sydney? Just popping in to say hello. Hope you are happy and healthy. Well, I hope you're happy and healthy there, Sydney. Good to see you. Yeah, you don't leave your chair for seven hours? Thank you. <laughs> no pants, no food, no service. That's what it is, baby. I for understand the forgetting to eat happens to me sometimes, too. I think I might eat, like, maybe once or twice a day. I know, like, that's not healthy, but that's just it just is what it is. Got into the deep mines yesterday, been 10 hours of time, didn't find any ruby. Dang, I'm bad at mines and only covered 5% of the area. <laughs> Melanie says, I have a small farm and finally got the tractor, but it's so awkward to use in a small space that probably never use it. Looks cute though. One and a half million dink direct, uh, decoration, right? I feel you on that one, Mel I feel you on that, on that one, Melanie. <laughs> Teller will remind you to eat. <laughs> Almost done here. Helicopter helicopter over tractor. Uh I have a question. What is the longest time you played a game without le leaving the chair? That actually happened last week. Um all you have to do is look up uh episode one or day one of two point campus, and there you go. Seven hours. Seven freaking hours of two point campus. Day one. Freaking insane. Absolutely insane. Hey! Peter! Thank you so much for subscribing, Peter. Thank you, Peter. Hey, and Krager! What the heck, Krager? Krager! Do I need to mail tacos? <laughs> Casserole? You know, I was told, I was told that I do have snacks uh, waiting in my P.O. box right now. I think, I believe, right? I believe I was told that. I still got to make a trip to my P.O. box. I was also told something's arriving on Friday as well. So, uh... <laughs> Tacos are pretty damn bomb, though. I, I, will, I will admit that. I only eat once um, a day myself, too, when I'm hungry. Yeah. Some of us are just built different. Some of us, like when I was in school, um, when I was in school, I didn't like eat a lot. I, I only ate like maybe like, I only ate once a day because I didn't eat school lunch because I couldn't have money all the time to go get school lunches. Hey, Sydney. Hey, wow, Sydney. Cindy became a member. Thank you so much, Sydney, for, for becoming a member. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. That was very kind to you. Big ups. Big ups, indeed. Thank you very much. That was very kind of you. 
Thank you for this support. But yeah, no, um, I didn't have like money all the time to get lunch. So, um, to buy lunch, I think lunch was like $4, $5 or something. I don't know. I don't know what it was, but I don't remember. Honestly, I don't really care to remember because I didn't even go to lunch and I didn't even get to lunch. So I, I would just eat like once when I got home and I think I would just eat dinner. I wasn't a breakfast person and me personally, I'm not a breakfast person in real life. Like anywhere I go, anything I do, I just don't eat breakfast. I'm not, I don't have an appetite for breakfast. I don't like, like, it's not that I don't like to eat breakfast. I just don't, I'm not hungry when I wake up type thing. And so if I like ordered a, a big meal breakfast wise, I'm going the wrong way. If I ordered a big meal uh, breakfast wise, I just probably wouldn't eat it. You know what I mean? There's breakfast people out there and there's non-breakfast people out there. I'm sure people can relate to that. 464 corn. Jimmy, I'm going to knock your freaking socks off, dude. Mexican casserole. That sounds amazing. I will have to say. That sounds pretty damn good. Shannon says they only hang out on their days off. Not sure of the friendship. Uh-oh. I gotta read that. Uh, not sure of the friendship level. You have to get them to hang out, but I do know they will only do it on their on their day off. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Like, just casually walking around, we have only found one key. I guess I'm not too disappointed. I'm gonna go ahead and look around. For some freaking keys here on Sunday. Coming up very soon. We're going to go with John. We're going to do the first time ever. Taking John with us to go get some metal detecting done. That's going to be fun. Hopefully it goes smoothly. Maybe he will have better luck. Better luck than, you know, him touching it rather than me touching it. Put the hoe in there. Might as well, like, throw the cooked meat in there, too. I don't need it. That's not where I wanted that. Damn it. There we go. There we go. School lunch is gross anyways. I never ate school lunch. <laughs> that is long. Only at Assassin's Creed game, I would spend more than seven hours in one sitting. Salute to you. <laughs> Sometimes, you know what, and to be fair, though, like, time when, especially, like, during live streams, when you have a bunch of people talking all the time, and you're just interacting, and you're streaming, and you're just having a good time with chat and all that, just time just goes by, right? Time just goes by. It's not like I was like, oh, yeah, I, I wasn't destined, like, I wasn't, like, set in my, my way where I was like, I'm gonna do seven hours today without, it's not even like that. What it was, it was just, like, I looked up. And it was seven hours. And I was like, oh, shit. Gotta go. <laughs> Gotta go. Hey, Timothy. Good to see you, Timothy. Timothy says, finally got home to watch. The tech guy finally visited. Got a quarry from him. Keeps popping up barrels. So if you're talking about Franklin, uh, definitely... Befriend him. Try to get him, get him as fast as you can. He will be your best friend going forward. Uh, for sure. So definitely uh, do everything you can with Franklin. Make sure you're doing his uh, quests and all that. And do all that good nonsense. What did I get my gotcha machine? Actual. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Iron pickaxe. So look at this. So now that we've repositioned. God damn it. <laughs> oh. Now that we've repositioned our water tower, these sprinklers get it, but these two don't. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I'm going to have to make this. I'm going to have to make this. There's only two options really here. Um, there's only like two options here. I can leave that water tower where it's at 
and then build another water tower over here which would be ridiculous wasteful resources for just those two um sprinklers like place it back here if i placed it back here that would be one one two three four five six seven i think that would work oh damn me i tell you what damn me okay so we probably will just do it so i'm gonna cut down these trees if i put the water tower right behind this it should work i should be able to get these sprinklers up and running yeah So the I think the villagers just came in and actually did this and, and just water the plants themselves. Am I gonna make food to give the Jimmy? Yes, yes. I also want to make food to give the Jimmy as well. Yes. That's another thing I want to do. Okay. So I don't think I have the enough resources for it anymore. But we'll see what we have here. Let's go copper and iron. See if we can throw this in real quick. Maybe have enough. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I had to put sand rock down for a bit because of optimization. My poor elderly computer can't hang in the big fight scenes or uh, up in the in Zeke's palace or place sorry place <laughs> you and you're all and you were figuring out a new game so I think it that was part of it yeah you're right I was figuring out a new game and and all that and even that alone like you definitely get lost in the sauce just trying to figure out a new game sometimes okay so, I think I have enough to build it. It's going to be very wasteful, maybe. I don't know. You know what? Actually, it would be funny because if I put a water tower right here, it would even benefit these. Now, if I put a water tower right there, I don't think it's going to benefit that field. It's not too far away. Okay. It's like, oh, you're building a water tower for two copper... For two copper uh, sprinklers? Yeah, yeah, I am. I am. Doesn't that sound wasteful? Yeah, yeah, it does. It does. Why are you doing Yeah, Because I don't have enough iron bars. All right. So today's Saturday. I'll put the water tower on hold for right now. I'll put the water tower on hold. I'll just slide these things right back in here for now. And um, I'm going to go out and find some stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna go find some stuff with John in the morrow. So we'll put the water tower on hold. We'll put the sprinkler system on hold for a sec. I mean, really, we don't have to because it seems like if we have these watered, you know, the NPCs do kind of like water the other ones, you know. Bury the water tank under pavement. I mean, yeah, you could do that. But I don't know if that's like something I want to do, though. Because, like, in real life, you're not putting, like, water tanks underground, are you? Like, water towers. Hang on a sec. Let me rephrase that. Water tanks, yes. Water towers, no. What the heck was that sound? Was that a pleep? <laughs> Ditch one of the apple trees. I, I I can't ditch one of the apple trees, um, because it's not a one by. It's a it's a two by two square. So if I wanted to like put it here, it's not gonna go here. It's gonna be a two by two square, not a one square. Good shout. <laughs> I'm trying to be as realistic in the game as possible. Yeah, I am. I am trying to be as realistic. And that's kind of the reason why I kind of like 
steer away from uh like massive amounts of like like the big hole like giant um weird like not weird but like you know where it's like mass amounts of um quarries or or i don't know like i don't want to like multiply the game too much does that make any sense like i don't want to like spam i guess is one thing i don't want to spam a bunch of things you know and i and i do want to kind of lay into like a real town kind of thing did i get anything from here i did a feather shirt what the heck is a feather shirt <gasps> look at that shirt that's pretty cool i've not seen that shirt yet that's pretty neat it actually matches the beanie kind of sure dude what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn in early. Yeah, I'm going to turn in early. And then I'm going to go out with John. And we're going to go looking for some keys, baby. God damn it, it's raining. Jimmy! Oh my god! Of course it had to rain today on Sunday. No! The feather shirt goes with the chicken head? Oh, I did not know that. <laughs> John! Ah, uh, kids. It's always nice to see a friendly face. Do you want to hang out today? You know what? I'd love to hang out today. Let's do this. All right, John. Let's go do this, buddy. Dude, he has a freaking bat in his hand. <laughs> John, we're going to be looking into uh, mining. Kind of. We're going to be looking for keys today, John. Let me just grab a few things. Okay, come on, John. Stay with me, buddy. Anything I find, you dig up, all right? Here we go. First time trying it out. Will you dig in the water? Go get that, buddy. Hell yeah. Hell to the yeah. Let's go, bud. Oh, and he puts the dirt back? Oh, that's smart as hell, dude. Oh, good for him. So you go into the water, what I don't want to do. That is sick. That is sick. Excuse me, John. You might want to, like, move. Jo John, get out of the way. John, I can't pick stuff up when you're just sitting there on me. All right, so so far, no keys. What well, we're gonna go? We're gonna go to the desert today. See if we get lucky there. Come on, John. Let's go to the desert. Let's not like worry about the water stuff. It's all, it kind of sucks that they only can cover a short amount of space. It can't be piped off over to cover more crops. Yeah, it, it does. It does. But I, 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 you know, as far as irrigation goes, I do believe that there will be, um, in the future, they'll probably add more. What the heck? Freaking Sonic just came by. Um, I believe in the future, we will definitely have, um, some more stuff, like more things going on. Um, we'll get better options. There's key number two. John, you have them freaking magic touch i think right hopefully he ready to smack things yeah 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 franklin just gave you the a feather shirt a few minutes ago so cute he's trying to help <laughs> what would happen if you bring uh john to the wary moo uh we'll have to, we'll have to see i'm pretty sure he'll beat the heck out of it there you go, John. Oh, dude, he found a treasure. John, will you open that? Okay, move, John. Come on, John. A bunch of wheels. No, um... No, no, whatchamajiggers. No keys. John, come touch this. There you go. Go at it. It'd be kind of cool if he actually even opened it for you, too. Like, it's okay, John, if you want to open that. Like, I'll, like, feel free to open it. God damn it. No key. Get it, John. I don't know. Isn't it just faster for me just to do it on my own? <laughs> I feel like it would be faster. He'll break them too? He will? Break it. Break it, buddy. 
It does cut down stamina costs. That's true. Hey, Maris. Ma Maris? Oh my god. Marissa? Marissa? Maris? F me, dude. I always have trouble with that name. Okay, okay, okay. Calm down, John. There's our third key. Yo, let's go. Oh, he helps breaks it. There you go. Get that, John. Hey, Melanie. You have to switch to your pickaxe for it to break it? Okay, let's see. Let's do it. We'll see. We'll switch to our pickaxe. John. John! <laughs> Go. John, you want to break it, please? There you go. Hey, there's another key, though. All right. We're getting it. We're getting it with the freaking keys, though. All right, John, get that one. Okay, now bop it. Do it. No? I go? Oh, my God. Okay, John, move. John, this is ridiculous. You are good luck, I will say. You are good luck. Thank you for trying. <laughs> Get it, John. Thank you. Come over here. Another one. Hey, Ellie. How you doing? We're, we're kind of getting like... I don't know if it's good luck, John, or if it's good luck, desert. <laughs> there you go. Do bridges increase NPC happiness? I don't think so. I think what increases NPC happiness is just simply doing the quest and building your relationship up with them. John. This one. This one, buddy. There you go. Oh, dude, he got an amber. Yo, good shout, John. I'm going to put this next to the teleporter for now. Good job, John. Wait, do you think it will go through? No. <laughs> okay. John is the key master. Hanging out is the cure to the key uh cure to the key crisis. There you go, John. It might be. Definitely might be. There you go, John. Okay, John, we're striking out, buddy. We're striking out. You were good to me for a second. Now you're not good to me. Come on, John. Look at all these resources over here. Hey, yo. Key? Damn it, John. Yeah, let's grab this stuff real quick. Desperately need iron right now for our water tower. Okay, John, don't worry about this, buddy. I got this. You don't need to pull out your pickaxe. You can put that away. I got this. Don't worry about it. I know you want to help, John, but you're, you're actually in the way, and it's not helping me. Like, I got the tools to do it. Just sit there and look pretty, okay? That's all I need you to do. Oh, yeah. I was also told that um, Ted Sully, Ted Selly, sorry, Ted Selly, Ted Sell, whatever the guy's name, the trader's name. I heard he's a reference. I heard he's a reference to a, um, a an Australian. Oh, my lord. John's channeling his inner Hagrid. <laughs> I swear I find 80% of my keys in the desert. Hey, Christina. 
fight the conundrum. John is good luck, but gets in the way. <laughs> Quite the issue we have here. <laughs> have you found any use for the termites? I don't think I have, and I don't know if anybody else has. But I certainly haven't. Not yet, at least. Maybe. Maybe termite nest you could put in the fertilizer, possibly? I don't know. I do appreciate them, like, the NPC actually, um, oh, look at that opal. Um, I do appreciate the NPC, um, putting the dirt back after he digs it up, too. That's kind of nice. She? Shy? Hey, Shy, how you doing? Okay, John, we're, we're striking out, buddy. We're striking out on all the, uh, keys now. What's happening? We need the keys. We need to go down to the mine shaft. Ted Selly is a reference to Ned Kelly. There you go. That's what it is. Ned Kelly. Ned Kelly. Not to be confused with R. Kelly, please. No, thank you. I will say I don't agree with R. Kelly in any shape of way or form, but I do, I can't ignore the fact that he did put out some early bangers in the uh, 90s and in the early 2000s. Do I listen to some R. Kelly? I do listen to some R. Kelly from time to time, but at the same time, I know he's a terrible, terrible human being. I don't like him for his person. I like it for the uh, for the music. I just sell them. You get decent money. Oh, do you get a decent money for a stack of termite nests? Yeah. Mr. Sigma. Hello, Mr. Sigma. How you doing? The hell's in there? Hello, Mr. Sigma. Still no keys. All right. Strike me out even harder. Let's go way out here. Might be glue of some kind later on the termite mounds. Oh, that would be, yeah. Some glue. Maybe some, like, ingredient you have to make or have. And that's why I'm, like, super excited. I'm, like, ready, man. I'm ready to see the next... I think I speak for everybody here. We want to see a... Just, like... Just give us a bone. Like, I don't care if it's a tiny, tiny little bone. But, like, give us a bone. Like, let's give... I want... We want content, baby. We want more content, man. We're, we're itching for some more dinkum content. Right? A famous bush ranger. Hey, Sunny Ann, how you doing? Ludus, hey, Ludus. Doing fine, trying to relax a bit. What's the uh, what's on the char hat? A candle? Yeah, that's my candle hat, man. That's my candle hat. Gives me infinite light source, baby. Infinite light source. I'm like, look. You see me trying with the NPCs. We had a little bit of luck early on. I can't get any keys now. If anything, if anybody were to ever tell me to politely F off, it's the actual keys and dinkum. Okay? Freaking dinkum, dude. Oh my god. John! John! This was fun? No, let's keep going. Lead the way. I just jumped into the water with a metal detector in my hand. Oh my lord.
I had... <laughs> hey, Glory Stars. How you doing, Glory Stars? Good to see you again. We have a lot of shiny discs, too. <clears throat> have I found any uh, underground X's you can dig in the deep mines? I have. Yes, I have. There are underground X's. We have done that in one of our live streams. Uh, but it was, like, very rare. It was, like, extremely rare. And it wasn't really that worth it. Okay, let's go. Ooh. P? Like the... Oh, God damn it, dude. The chest, the chest, the treasure chest, I always feel like has a very good chance of having a key in it. Because there's so much stuff in there. But there's never a key in there. There's another amber. Okay, hey, out of this, this needs to be a key. No key? There's a damn key. Thank God. All right. All right. Take this with us. Finally, a key. I might be wrong on that. I can't remember. I just made to smash them all. Come across, you can make a bunch of money. Okay, here we go. That's a tiny little chest, isn't it? That wasn't a big one. Hey, there's a key in it. Oh my god. Oh, there's another little spot here as well. There you go. Double time. Oh, there's another key. Back-to-back -back keys on the same spot. Now that's, that's a blessing in disguise there. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about, baby. I want what the next update promises. Guest housing. I want to use all the floors and wallpapers I have. Yes. Yes, facts. Like, I personally will probably use the guest housing as, like, decoration. And do, like, some sort of, like, uh, I don't know. Some sort of, like, neighborhood or something. I don't know. It depends on how many guest houses they're going to allow us to make. Right? But, yes. Guest, guest housing. I'm looking forward to. And, like, their new critters or new whatever the heck. New animals or new... Mobs or whatever the heck they're saying too as well. Watch out, John. Oh, look at that. A little bit lucky there. I think Mr. Benden is a little focused on cleaning up bugs after the huge amount of people who bought the game. I think even more than he expected at first. Is that right? Is there a lot of bugs? Honestly, through like 26 days, I don't even know if we've really... I think the only bugs we've ever ran into through 26 days of playing the game is... A mineshaft um, going under the level type thing. I think that's the only thing we've ever really like had personally. By the way, thank you, Ashley, for subscribing to the channel. Thank you, Ashley. There's another Ashley. Quick question. If you started your island again, would you do anything different? Oh, shoot. I don't I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't regret anything I've done, for sure. So, I don't... I, I, I maybe would say no. Probably not. I like every decision that I've made so far. I'm not very picky, either, when it comes to towns. Like, even in, like, like if I were to play, like, Minecraft or something, I make... I'll just make whatever situation I have. I'll just make it good. You know, I'll just make it good enough for me, I guess you could say. So even like this, like I had no idea what I was going to be doing in the future when I first, you know, day one, when I first planted our base, but I don't regret it. I don't regret anything I've done because I've just adapted to it. I think that's just one thing I'm just, I do is just, I just adapt to things. But I don't regret it. And I don't, I don't think I would do anything different either. John is an amber magnet and a key magnet. God hope so. Do you need to ask if he needs lunch to share or does he bring his own lunch? No, he never eats. <laughs> He's like us. He doesn't eat. 
So this was a little bit of a, like, hang on a sec. I want to see where there's another little bit of desert. I think this way, right? Yeah. A little bit of a desert biome over here too. I'm going to come over here. Dun, 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 dun. Key on key action. There's X's in the mine. I hate the mine. Too much going on. Yeah, there is technically X's in the mine, but not a lot. Not a lot. Not a lot to make it worthwhile. John! Buddy! Hello! Let's go! Bring it! LEF became a member. LEF! F me! Take a load off! Thank you, Ellie. I mean, don't do what I just said, but... Uh, uh, scratch that. Reboot. Thank you for becoming a member. That was very generous of you. I do appreciate that. Thank you very much, Ellie, for your uh, for your generosity. Thank you so much, Ellie. That was very kind of you. Did you find out what the swim charm is for? The swim charm is just something that is not supposed to be in the game quite yet. Who knows what it will do in the um, in the future? But right now, there is no use for it because it's not supposed to be in the game yet. Guest housing, yeah. So in the first update of the game. There's going to be guest housing. That's going to be one of the first contents is you'll be able to build houses. Look, there's a freaking key. You'll be able to build houses for your um, play uh, for your friends who join your multiplayer uh, lobbies and stuff like that. It's a multiplayer thing. Do you have Amber as a decor like the Ruby? I think I might in the park. I think I might. Yeah. Or no, I did have them at one point and I think I might have sold them. I made a, uh, I made a, uh, weird looking thing with, uh, my, <laughs> with my, um, uh, with my fountain in my thunder egg. And then I think I might've sold them, but I could use the, the ambers for sure. As some kind of decor, as some kind of decor. Come on, John. We need more keys, buddy. We need more keys. Guess housing equals secondary bases. Uh, I guess yeah. If you don't, if you don't play, if you don't play multiplayer, or you don't plan on playing multiplayer, yeah, you could probably use the guest house as your own and have like a secondary house somewhere, probably. This is all speculation because I don't know what the limitations are going to be for guest housing. I have no idea what the, uh, what they have going on or what James has going on, I should say. Or what he's thinking. Nobody's in James's mind except for James himself. Any tips for mining without a hat? Spread torches? Yeah. Early on, we spreaded torches. So I would just make torches and torches are not that hard to obtain. They're not hard to make. So yeah, spread torches. That's how I ran through the mines at first was I was using torches. There's a glitch in Northwest ocean levels off. <laughs> I mean, we've gotten a couple things, but I mean, a couple keys, right? Definitely got a couple keys. Let's head back to the teleporter real quick where the other Amber is. Kevin. Thanks, Kevin, for subscribing. I actually want Minecraft on PC. I have my Series X, but I don't, uh, but don't on PC, but don't on PC yet. <laughs> hey Kate, Kate, how you doing Kate? Good to see you Kate. Shout out to Kate. Welcome Kate. What's going on Kate? Let's do a little bit of back here on this side now. Let me get lucky. Hey Demo Dog. We've gotten some keys. We've gotten uh, nine keys, I guess, so far with John. Not too bad. I mean, we'll definitely uh, pay for what we need uh, when we go into the... Uh, oh, we already went over here. Uh, when we go to the mine shaft later on.
Do you think you would ever do some multiplayer with your stream? Um, I'm not sure. I don't know if I would or not. Multiplayer. Um, maybe. Uh, maybe. I would say maybe. In this game, I don't know about in this game. In other games, maybe in other games. But if I were to do like a multiplayer thing, it would uh, be a perk for the channel. It would be, oh my God, is that a third freaking Amber? It would be a um, perk. It would be a member's uh, perk. So if you're a member of the channel, uh, you would you would get first access to, uh, to be able to do multiplayer games with me if I do that in the future. Today is my good luck. Finally got enough bugs and fish for the books or for the book to spawn. Very cool. Very cool indeed. Watch out, John. Hit me again. Hey, simply nothing. How you doing? What I find more disturbing than the sleeping in their shops is there isn't a bathroom or a single shower in the game. I know. I kind of wish they did have their own little like houses. NPCs, that'd be kind of fun. He walked over the river instead of swimming. Did he? Did he like freaking Bruce Almighty it and I didn't see it? Let's see if I get a little bit lucky here before the end. Yeah, if anything, this did save us stamina. So that's cool. There you go. Loving the Dinkum series. I am way back in episode six. We'll catch up slowly. Shout out to you, Simply. Nothing. Rob says, all right, I'm going to have to take off. I'm seeing Jack White tonight, and it's about time to head out. Enjoy the stream, everyone. Have a good rest of your day, Rob, and thank you for hanging out with us. Really do appreciate it. You take it easy, Rob. Oh. Oh, John, this is your time to fight, buddy. This is it. This is it. Pull out the big one. Pull it out. Pull out John Jr. There you go. There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. No, no, no. I, I, I dip away. This guy is an actual monster. Get him. Get him. Yeah. There you go, John. Smack him. Keep going at it. I'm just going to run circles around him. Distract him. You do that. Hit him with the bat. There you go. There you go. Good job, John. Great job. Dude, he just almost took a bite out of your ass. Do not take that from him, John. Go get him. Go get him. Go get him, John. Come on, John. Come on, get him. Oh, my God. John, what are you doing? All right, I'll hit him. I'll hit him once. Maybe you're upset that I haven't hit him yet. I'll hit him once. Come here. Don't run away, coward. There you go. All right, John. You did You did well. Okay, John, he's dead. You did well, John. You, you did all right. I don't need that meat. You did well. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. So we had like three ambers, I think. <laughs> Use it a controller and, and I have a terrible time getting out of the water after diving. It freaks me out. I don't know if it's my laptop or what. <laughs> I need to take John with me more often. All right, John, time for you to like, I don't know. I don't know if you teleport back with me, John, but like go like catch a cab or something. All right, we'll, we'll run these ambers back real quick. If anything, if John's seeing anything, he's like, oh my God, I see all these ambers that I'm, that this guy's fine. Oh, look at that. Is that a chicken? Chicken coop. I guess that's like an excuse to get another chicken coop or chicken. Uh, if John sees anything from any of this, it's a bird coop. Yeah. He's probably thinking, oh, great. He's found amber. Now I have to pay this man. <laughs> Did it mean Dinkum? Just any game you felt appropriate for in, for multiplayer? Yeah, any game that's appropriate for multiplayer, it probably would be a uh, it, it it would be a maybe, and it would be a um, a members only thing. Oh, I watched the first ten minutes of that new Disney game, Dreamlight Valley. I'm super excited for it. I would say I am too, but I'm a little skeptical on it. I was looking for Erwin last night to complete his request, and I found him at his shop at 11.58, selling his wares. Bought some animal food. <laughs> I 
Jefferson says, I do have a Minecraft community server, and Cam said he wanted to see me play Minecraft, so I might stream it in the near future. Hey, there you go. I watched the uh, unlisted. I watched the unlisted Ara shared with me. How's my town progression in the books? We are at four and a half stars out of five. Four and a half out of five. It's nice to see early access. Yeah. Cooper, hey Cooper. Cooper says, I'm on day 14. Can I say that although your town is looking amazing, my OCD is killing me when I see your flower pot name on the dock position like it is. It needs to be one block towards the sea. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, it was one block towards the sea. I will be honest with you. It was one block towards the sea. That's how we built it originally. However, it didn't work with the letters. So, I mean, the only thing I could do is if I could pick it up and just move it up one, right? Yeah. Pick it up and move it up one. It's a little funky with the bridge, though. The bridge gets a little funky with it underneath, but I think it would be okay. But, yeah. Uh, but you got to also think that I don't, like, I, I plan on expanding this uh, pier out one wide here. So, right here, I'm going to put more pier in the future so I can make a barricade also. So, um, I'm, I won't, I probably won't touch the, the flowers because I do consider on... Uh, building this pier out a bit more so that we can have a barricade like a fence area around the pier hopefully that answers your question and maybe calms the OCD a little bit <laughs> the dev said probably not ever going ever coming to switch he said PlayStation and Xbox maybe but switch wants to put it on on their platform so the dev said most likely Xbox PlayStation maybe the switch now i can definitely see it not going on the switch i can see this game not going on the switch why because it would be a direct competitor to animal crossing and i don't know if nintendo wants to do that right i don't know if they want to do that right Actually, you know what? We need to smelt these two. <laughs> yeah, I just haven't worked on the pier yet. I, I, I will say, I will say, Cooper, I have not worked on the pier in some time. Um, and I've been kind of like putting it to the side. Because I do want to put a, I do want to put a, a, the second NPC on there or the, the next NPC when that dime does come. But I have been not uh, putting it off to the side, but I do exp I do plan on expanding it out just a bit because I think it's silly that the pier doesn't have like a barricade around it, like a fence. But hey. Another thing about it is if it doesn't go on Switch, I think it would be better. Well, not better, but another thing to think about is it's on Steam Deck. It's a Steam Deck verified game. So portability, you technically could still play it portable if you had a Steam Deck, you know, and I know not everybody has a Steam Deck and nobody really has a Steam Deck. But yeah, I don't know if they would want to have this game on the Steam Deck and on Nintendo Switch. Which unlisted? Uh, the, I'll have to send it to you, but Ara sent me a link to it. Animal Crossing came out over two years ago? Yeah, it did. It did. But... Animal Crossing is a ever forever going franch uh, franchise game. Animal Crossing, there's been multiple Animal Crossings on Nintendo. So in the future, there'll be more Animal Crossings in the future. Plus Animal Crossing with the DLC and all that too. So 
Uh, I'm sure they have another Animal Crossing in the works. Because I can't remember how many Animal Crossings there's been. There's been multiple an Animal Crossings throughout the Nintendo's lifespan, right? So I don't think... Um, I don't think Nintendo wants to do that for their future. It is slated for Switch at this time. Yeah. But it, uh, Xbox and, and PlayStation is definitely... But again, uh, like, we talk about uh, consoles and we talk about porting over. Like, this stuff isn't going to happen for a while. It's not going to happen for a long while. I, if I were to take a guess how long it would take, I think it's going to be like a year or two. Maybe a year and a half, a year or two before this game ever comes on console. Because it has to come out of early access first. Gersh is playing. Gersh! Gersh playing on the Steam Deck! Big shout. It has to come out of early access before it goes to console. There is Xbox games that go into early access, but that's a very case by case. And I don't think I it, I could be wrong, but I don't think PlayStation, I don't think PlayStation has ever done early access games on their console. I could be wrong about that. But I don't think so. John, we can depart. This was fun. All right, it was nice hanging out with you. Yeah, no problem. Excuse me, John. You're just in the freaking way now. The only thing I wish uh, he would do, like Animal Crossing, is have separate rooms in the houses instead of one just big room. And hey, he might do that. He might give us expansions. He might give us more upgrades on, on, um, on housing. And that's the beautiful. That's the beauty, right? That's the beauty of early access. Is that this is not a full game. This is a game in development, right? So anything that you wish could happen, definitely could happen. Uh, or wish would happen, could happen, right? And um, you just always got to think about that. Like, this is not the final version. We're nowhere close to the final version. This is just the beginning, baby. Right? So since I got a bird coop from my gotcha machine, I feel like I have to get another bird now. <laughs> no, no, no. I didn't abandon John. I did not abandon John. John's good. We said goodbye to him. He said thank you and all that. We're good. We're good. Um, Rain will be open on monday okay so we'll harvest those in the morning i don't have the stamina to do it quite yet we were given white pants today uh, i'd rather not there we go five animal crossing games have been released so there you go five animal crossing games have been released and uh they're probably not stopping anytime soon because they are a staple for nintendo Animal Crossing is almost like damn near like Mario, right? People buy... Okay, listen. People that are gamers, right? Gamers buy Animal Crossing. People that are not gamers buy Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing speaks on high levels uh, in the market, right? Uh, gamers play Animal Crossing. Non-gamers play Animal Crossing. That just is what it is. People literally in 2020 went out and bought a Nintendo Switch just to play Animal Crossing. And they don't even play video games, right? We all know about that. So, it's a huge staple. It's almost, it's like one of the, it's one of the biggest. And it will always be one of the biggest on Nintendo. As long as they keep it an exclusive, which they will always keep it an ex exclusive. So if they decide if they want this game to come on Switch, that's up to them. But this would be the closest thing that they would have as a competitor to uh, Animal Crossing. Yeah, the iron bars are in the uh, unsmelted ores. Yeah, the, uh, unsmelt in the raw ores chest. The reason why the iron bars are in there is because that is the preparation for our, um, our, whatchamajigger? <laughs> our, uh, 
water tower, so to speak. Okay, let's go ahead and harvest these. We'll get another crop in here. I believe there's a high chance it comes out on Switch. Nintendo loves money. Animal Crossing will likely borrow game mechanics from Dinkum for this next game. It's super interesting to see. Because, like, the, the one thing that's really interesting about it all is the fact that it's an indie developed game, right? It's not like some other... It's, it's not like a, a, a bigger studio that's doing this. It's an indie developed game. So I wonder what kind of deal they can work out, right? For sure. What kind of deal can you work out, right? That's the whole whole idea here. Do I have the amber in here? I don't have the amber in here. I took it out of here. You know what we could do? We can just start collecting ambers. We can have like an amber corner. We'll just start collecting ambers. <laughs> What the heck, a meat pie? Sick, dude. PC Gamer, since PC Games be... Uh, hang on a second, I gotta see that. Let's see here. <laughs> PC Gamer, since PC Games became a thing and I bought a Switch just to play Animal Crossing. I bought well I didn't buy a switch I didn't buy a switch to um, to play Animal Crossing but I did get a switch around the time Animal Crossing did come out but it was it was for a whole nother reason um, a very depressing way how I got the switch but I did obtain it Animal Crossing is simplistic I have uh, Animal Crossing for the switch that's how I got into gaming when this Animal Crossing came out, it was a miracle to even find Switch consoles. Exactly, dude. The Switches were out of stock everywhere. Right? Animal Crossing New Horizon has sold over 38 million copies as of March. And see, somebody says this. Dinkum over Animal Crossing 100% for me. That would be my only... I don't know. Like, if you, like, if you lined up, right? Let me see here. If you lined up something, right, and you said th this, right, and you said, tomorrow, Animal Crossing New Horizons is coming out. And I think Animal Crossing was, I, I, I can't remember, was it $60, $40, $60, one of those, right? You say, Animal Crossing comes out tomorrow for $60. And let's not even like, I don't know if any, hang on a sec. Let me, let me just kind of like tan, let, let me go on a tangent real quick here real quick. That's not even considering the fact that, does anybody remember? This was very recent that, um, that, uh, oh God, what am I trying to say? Very, very recent that Animal Crossing New Horizons came out with the, hey, hey. Steph Hops oh. became a member. Darren, coming in with the five gifted membership. Holy crap. Thank you so much, Darren. Appreciate that. Desert Boss became a member. Appreciate that. Thank you very much, Darren. Big ups to Darren and big ups to the people that received. God do so became a member. A membership. Gers, Matt, God, Edza, Steph, all becoming members of the channel for the next month. Matt Blanc became a member. How awesome is that? Big, big ups. Thank you very much. On the behalf of everybody that received, we say thank you. Thank you. Gers thank you. Gers became a member. Thank you, Darren, for that. Appreciate that. Um, but no, what was I saying before? It was... Um, everybody... I don't know if anybody knows this. Maybe some people don't. But... Anybody knows the uh, Animal Crossing New Horizons, the Switch console, the green one, the, the pretty looking green Switch console? You buy the Animal Crossing Edition Switch and the freaking thing doesn't come with the game. You have to buy the game separately. What kind of BS is that? So you have to buy the $60 game. 
after you just bought the Animal Crossing and spent a little bit more money on the limited edition Animal Crossing New Horizons uh, Switch, right? You have to then buy the game itself. So, my question would be, tomorrow, if Animal Crossing New Horizon came out for $60, and tomorrow, Dinkum came out for $25, for $20, for $30, which one are you going to buy? And you could only choose one. Which one are you going to buy? Now, most people would probably buy both. I would probably buy both. But there's some people who have to make that decision where, you know what? I can only spend X amount of money and I'm going to buy this game over the other game, right? Which one are you going to buy? Same with the Splatoon version. I had to get the game as well. I didn't even know that. The Splatoon version of the Nintendo Switch, is that right? You had to get the game separately? What kind of crock is that, dude? That's Nintendo. Nintendo says, here's a limited edition console that's super hard to get, but once you do and you pay a little bit of extra money to get it, here you go. But by the way, here's not the game. You got to go buy the game separate. <laughs> I've bought limited edition consoles in the past and they came with the game. Maybe they weren't physical copies of the game, but they at least gave you a digital copy of the game. I'm buying Dinkum. Exactly. I have that Switch before they had the Splatoon one, which did, did come with the digital copy. I remember the Animal Cross Switch with no game. See? And the game's like $60, right? It's not $50 or $40. It's $60. I would buy Dinkum for sure. Dinkum immediately. Dinkum, Dinkum, and actual Dinkum. I've played way too many hours of Animal Crossing. I'd love to play Dinkum. That was in America, though. The Splatoon one I got came with a digital. That was in America, though. In other countries, it can be different. Hang on. I'm waiting for Mr. Irwin to open up. That's why I'm sitting here. I want to buy a chicken. And an animal feeder. Which game is going to help me pick up chicks? Animal Crossing says I have money to spend, but Dinkum says I still have money for dinner. Dinkum, you can play with the chicks as well, and you can buy the chicks dinner. There you go. It blew your mind now, didn't I? Animal Crossing saved me in the beginning of COVID, but I hardly ever touch my Switch now. I'm sitting there dead, not charged. I'm right there with you, Christy. I'm right there. Well, damn it, it's Monday. I'm out here waiting for this guy on a Monday. God damn it, dude. Ay, ay, ay. F me, dude. Waiting for him on a damn Monday. The one time I need him. Anytime I do this. Anytime. The one time I need somebody. It's like nobody. I can't get a hold of anybody. But yeah, just like think of that, people. Like, honestly, think about that. Think about, like, if two games came out tomorrow, which one are you going to buy? You're going to buy Animal Crossing. You're going to buy Dinkum, right? It's a very, very, uh, the theoretically, it's very theoretical of me to say, but I'm just saying, like, I don't know. If that were to ever come, like, yeah, you know? Which one are you going to do, right? Which one are you going to do? Unless James sells off Dinkum to some other company. Unless unless the developer of this game sells this game off to another, to a big company, you know, then obviously things would be different. But I don't know. I don't know what, I don't know what his plans are, you know? Somebody said it earlier that he got probably a lot more traction than he was expecting for this game. So he's really trying to like hunker down a little bit, right? And I get that. Totally get that. Hey Raider, how you doing Raider Chris? Good point, win-win with the dinner. Exactly, see? <laughs> and that's the thing, I keep seeing all this dialogue, right? I see very similar dialogue here in, in chat. People are saying, it's been charged for over a year or it's been dead for a year. I don't even know where the hell my switch is, but you know, 
you know if they were to drop a new animal crossing game tomorrow there's a possibility where it's like ah maybe i go pick up that pick up my switch again right all right let's start dumping off some things we're gonna get get ready to go into the mine shaft here You know, you would be definitely going into that. Yeah, that's good. Black shirt. Okay, torch. We have the torch. Okay, we have the torch. We don't need the water can. We don't need the water can. No water can. Okay, we have five croc meat. Is that enough? I'm going to see if I can find a couple more crocs today. First, put the iron spear in there. The black shirt in there. Get our keys situated. There we go. All right, let me go see if I can find some more crocodiles. I want to get some more croc meat. And I want to get a bottle brew. Bottle brew. There you go. Go get some more croc meat. There are plenty of games, though, that compete with Animal Crossing already on the Switch. The game genre can't prevent it from getting on here. I don't know what else competes. What competes? What competes against Animal Crossing? Anybody? What competes against Animal Crossing on the Switch right now? Unless I don't know of a game title, let me know. Just in time to watch a mine run. <laughs> yeah, we're good. We're preparing for the mine run. I, I just need some crocodiles, please. Currently on day 16. Gabriel. Good, good to be you. Shout out to you, Gabriel. Day 16. Love to hear it. Love that you are loving the series. Absolutely. Did I pass a croc? I passed a croc. Harvest Moon competes with Animal Crossing? No. No, it does not. I would have to disagree. I would have to disagree. I I, I can't see Animal Crossing competing with 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 uh <laughs> with Har Harvest Moon at all. Stardew Valley still wouldn't say that competes against it. I think Stardew Valley and Harvest Moon go back and forth. But I don't think it competes against Animal Crossing. Yeah, Harvest Moon in Stardew Valley, but Harvest Moon in Animal Crossing, they definitely don't compete. I just don't feel like there's anything, there's not another game out there that, except for Dinkum, that is like freaking Animal Crossing. Never bought the Switch. Not liking being locked into one company exclusive games. <laughs> it's true. Some of those exclusive games, though, you gotta admit, they're they're pretty bangers. That's the that's the good thing Nintendo's got going for them. The one time I need to find crocodiles, I can't find crocodiles. There's Mr. Freaking Ted, whistling about. There he is. Hello, Ted. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. How you doing, Ted? Good to see you, buddy. What are you asking for? Uh, want to chat? Got a job? Scarlet Jezebel? I forgot which one that looks like. I forgot which one that looks like. What color butterfly that is. Dragon Quest Builders is the closest. Okay. Okay, there you go. That That's... that's okay, now that... I could see Dragon Quest Builders. All right. That's getting a little bit closer. Still, I don't think a straight com a, a compete, right? A competition. But um, I would say that's definitely closer. Because if you think of Harvest Moon, think of Harvest Moon and think of Stardew Valley, right? I'm pretty sure Stardew Valley was inspired 
by Harvest Moon, you know? And I don't know if James has ever said it. I don't know if he'll if he admit it or anything like that. Um, or anything of that nature. I don't know if this game was inspired by Animal Crossing. I don't know. I have no idea. Or if it just flat out wasn't. He just made his own freaking game, right? I know he, de he began development in 2018. 2018 is two years before Animal Crossing came out. But, you know, I don't know. I have no I actual idea. The closest thing I can th I can think of of its protege is which is the Legend of Zelda linked to the past on the S -E -S, uh, on the SNES. Ace Animal Crossing was built from Link to the past audio graphics and mechanics. I don't even have a bug net to help out Mr. Ted anyways. I put all my equipment away. I came out here hunting strictly for alligators. Do they not do alligator or crocodiles don't do they crocodiles don't show up in the um show up in the rain? Do they not spawn in the rain or something? There's a shark. I missed one? Another one? I know I missed the one in the beginning, but I didn't think it would be this freaking hard to fight a gator, dude. <laughs> Stardew was definitely inspired by Harvest Moon. Timothy not going to believe this. was that from play screen hit escape greater than options greater than pause it stops game time till you hit enter or control or action hey Timothy thank you so much for the super chat appreciate that yeah you talk about the pause feature yeah we've um we've dabbled into the pause feature for for some time I think we paused it like when that update came out that because it was a I think it was an update that came out last week or something like that but yeah we've dabbled into the pause feature it's a freaking lifesaver. It is absolutely lifesaver. Anybody that doesn't know, you go options, hit pause. You cannot do this in multiplayer, though. You can only do it in single player. Thank you so much, Timothy. What up? Got two of them right here, baby. Yeah, I deserve to get bit in the ass. I deserve it. Yeah, come on. Come get it. Come on, gator. Go do some tail whip shit, though. Animal Crossing came out long time ago on the DS. Oh, yeah. Very long time ago. Very, very long time ago. Come on, other guy. Come on, buddy. Come on now. I was just gifted Blossom Tales 2. What? There you go. Do you have a playlist of Harvest Moon? Oh, no, I've never played Harvest Moon on the channel. Never played Stardew Valley on the channel either. Concerned Ape did say he was... Okay, so Concerned Ape, Concerned Ape did say they were uh, he was inspired by Harvest Moon. Hey, Queen Chris, how are you doing? Ah! Yeah, Animal Crossing was on Game GameCube. I think that's what really turned uh, Animal Crossing into something there, was when it was on GameCube. I think a lot of people, like, in the old, like, the older gamers definitely uh, remember the days of Animal Crossing on the GameCube more. I think that's basically what launched the title, if you were to say. This is this is how I know. It's like Danielle, she's not a gamer, right? But long ago we met, she she mentioned and she talked about Animal Crossing. 
just because I think it, at the time, growing up, it was just such a universal universal game that a lot of people, people that don't play games, definitely um, uh, played. You know, we you know even enjoyed, right? Burrito Bandito, thank you so much for the uh, subscription. And I'm not talking about the fast food restaurant that is in my town. <laughs> Burrito Bandito. Even though Burrito Bandito is a very good place to eat. They give out big burritos and I love it. Cozy Grove comes to mind as the most similar gameplay to Animal Crossing. Very different visual. Though imagine if they didn't let any platformers on the system because of Mario being theirs. Yeah, that's true. There we go. There we go. And we have that bars for the water tower. We will throw these into the fertilization. Bam, bam. And we're going to go mine shaft run, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine shaft run. Got some crock meat that we can cook as well. Got a stone, I guess. There we go. Throw that there. Throw that there. And uh, let's go. Yes, I play the anim old old school Animal Crossing on GameCube. Yeah, see? Exactly. I think that's what launched it. Honestly, I think that's what launched Animal Crossing. Was the GameCube one. GameCube version. I still have Animal Crossing on GameCube in my box in my parents' basement somewhere. <laughs> I've searched like mad to find the game like Animal Crossing that's coming out soon. It's called Hoko Life. Hoko Life. Yes, Hoko Life. Um, that is actually a game that's on my um, on my radar. I will say. I will admit, Hoko Life is definitely a game on my radar. And um, and you, you, you bring up a good point. You bring up a good point because as of right now, there's nothing similar to Animal Crossing except for Dinkum. But now that it's been a couple years since the Animal Crossing raise had happened in 2020, you're going to start probably seeing a lot more now that it's been a couple years where people could develop games. You're probably going to see a lot of more similarities to Animal Crossing games in the future. Just like Stardew Valley. Or sorry, just like Harvest Moon, Stardew Valley. And then you've seen it a thousand times. There's too many indie games out there to, 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 to say to even describe where you've seen countless attempts, not countless attempts, but countless amounts of the same type of game when it comes to Stardew Valley or Harvest Moon. They've replicated it in many different fashions and forms, right? Farming sim type game, right? I'm going to put this in here for now just to hold on to. So you're probably going to see now that it's been two years past Animal Crossing this year, next year, you're probably going to see a lot of games like Dinkum, like um, Animal Crossing, and it's going to be versions of what other people think or of other people, little like spin-offs, right? Versions of what people want Animal Crossing to be, so to speak, right? Hey, yo! All right, let's go. Let's go. Question, once you finish uh, in the shark and beat it down, you can trap it? Oh, some of that must be not for me. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Yeah, yeah, you and your bug tipsters, dude. Okay, let's go. Don't forget your damn bike. And by the way, key? No extra key. Okay, here we go. Got my food, got my brew. I'm ready to go. All I want is another Papers, Please. I love that game. Dude, when I was playing a game called Border Officer on the channel, a lot of people were really talking about how it was like a Papers, Please thing, I believe. I But I, I, I don't know. I never played Papers, Please. But a lot of people like Papers, Please. There we go. 
wasn't keen on long venter um i had that on my wish list i never pulled the trigger on it because i always saw kind of mixed reviews on that game yeah i always saw mixed reviews on that game on long venter now i think there was an update recently to that game i don't know if it made it better or anything like that but or i don't know if it like went full release or what the deal was something happened i think to that game recently there we go there we go i don't expect a glider this run if i find a glider i'll be super lucky but i don't expect it i already got my giddy up last stream right so i don't need to i don't need to be too greedy about it i'm fine i will probably take more iron with me though Coral Island looks interesting. Yeah, Coral Island is another game that's on my radar as well. Uh, definitely looking forward to that game. Coral Island. Uh, did you commission Franklin for a jet ski? I did not. No, I did not. Come on, come on, come on, go! That, 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 and that. Okay. There we go. Continue. How many rubies are we going to get this time? I don't even know, dude. Oh, damn it. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. There we go. Long Venture is fun with friends, but boring solo. Yes, more papers, please. <laughs> And obviously the game, I mean, I, a lot of people are talking about it, right? About it's going to be the one, one of the like best games to come out. At least that's what people are saying is the ranchers, right? I'm sure we've all heard of the ranchers. If not, if you haven't, maybe look up the ranchers. Um, and I've been holding out a bit on that. Uh, I know people are like, I think people are playing it and streaming it, but I'm going to wait a bit until it develops a little bit more before i i put my hands on it i think it's like an alpha you know coral island yeah coral island there's another one or wait did i already say coral island did i ever mention that but yeah coral island <laughs> yeah. oh my god these bats Yeah, Coral Island. That's definitely a game that looks good. When is City I2 coming out? How dare you ever say that again? Like, don't ever at me with the City I. <laughs> I am in the middle of watching your Quiet Man video. I'll finish it later. So far, this game looks interesting and unconventional. Unconventional, but it cleared, but clear it didn't hit with most gamers. <laughs> Oh my god, your quiet man commentary was hilarious. I was cooking while watching it and laughed so hard. <laughs> I tell you what, I tell you what. The only thing about the quiet man that I got beneficial out of it, out of that video, was I literally had to figure out a way to, uh, what's it called? Um, oh god, improv. That was straight improvisation right there. That was probably improvisation at its worst. <laughs> I should be part of an improv class. I've always wanted to. Like, I always love watching um, Whose Line Is It Anyway? Right? I always watched that growing up. <clears throat> I think they even have a uh, Whose Line Is It Anyway like reboot, but I never watched that one. I like watching the old one with Drew Carey and everything. It's funny because they always like poke fun at Drew Carey all the time. Like, they would poke fun at Drew Carey, and then, like, at the end of the show sometimes, Drew Carey would come up and, like, bust a rhyme. And, like, he would actually do some pretty decent improv. Okay, these guys gotta go. They gotta go. There's too many of them. My lord. I feel like I hit one and they keep coming. 
Stop it! My lord. I just saw a pie alpha of the ranchers. A pie alpha. What's a pie alpha? Or was that supposed to be pre-alpha? That was so funny though. I couldn't stop laughing. No matter what the game was like. <laughs> Can't believe we haven't found one ruby yet. That show was great. Absolutely that show was great. I think they have like the older seasons on like Amazon Prime or something. You, you could definitely like, go back and watch them. I think. Or maybe that's HBO. Maybe I'm thinking HBO Max. I know not a lot of countries get HBO Max, but I think HBO Max uh, has. Yeah, it's, it's HBO Max that has it. I thought uh, Drew Carey was the new one, to be honest. <laughs> Is that right? No, I forgot the, um, I forgot the, it's weird. I forgot the name of the, the lady that does the, whose line is it anyway? She's the same lady that's in one of the judge shows. You ever seen like the judge show, the court shows, right? I watch a lot of the court shows too. But you ever watch one of the court shows where it had the three judges in them? I think she, one of the ladies in there, I forgot her name, but one of the ladies in there is the host of whose line is it anyway now? Which I was like, what? <laughs> That's weird as hell. Am I? I think I'm right about that. It's like how like the Judge Judy show, right? I, I used to watch a lot of Judge Judy. The Judge Judy show came to an end, but then it was just streamed on Amazon Prime as a different show called Judy for Justice or something rather. So it's like it never actually ended. And like the Judge Judy show has Judge Judy but also has like Judge Judy's granddaughter in it now, right? Karen, hey Karen. Karen says, hey, found your stream one day for Dinkum. Piqued my interest, is so now I always watch you play and bought the game for myself. Oh, very good, Karen. Good to see you, good to see you. Thank you for hopping in and letting me know that. I do appreciate you telling me that. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Wayne Brady was was amazing and whose line is it anyway? True. Facts. Wayne Brady is still good. Like, he's still funny to watch in um Let's Make a Deal. I still watch him in Let's Make a Deal. I got no problem with that. Oh shit. Let's go this way. Still no rubies? Striking out on the dungeons? I'm learning about several games that I have put on my wish list. <laughs> ah, there we go, baby. There's a ruby. Okay, let's hang on a sec. Let's pop these guys real quick. Okay. There we go. All right, let's head back. Pre-alpha. Okay, pre-alpha. Aisha, T Aisha, I don't even know if I'm going to say her name right. Aisha Tyler. That's who it is, right? She's the one that's in the new Whose Line Is It Anyway? And she's the one that does the judge show. That's where I'm kind of confused. I'm a little, like, confused. Like, entertainment, judge, judge, now entertainment, host, i confused. What the hell's going on? Right? I guess she's a, oh, there's another Ruby. She's the judge of a judge show, right? And then she also also judges um, <laughs> improv. <laughs> she she judges civil suits, and then on her you know her days off she judges improvisation. That's a hell of a life there. <laughs> you think about it. We got two rubies, baby. Oh yeah, another thing also is if you drive in the in the in the mines, the mobs will not attack you. No gator will attack you. No Tasmanian devil will attack you. And believe it or not, do you hear the silence? I know you hear the terrible motorcycle sound, but 
no bats will attack you either. So if you want to go into the mines without being attacked, drive the motorcycle. The bats won't follow you. The gators won't attack you. None of that stuff. At least right now. I don't know if that will change in the future. So if you're watching this three months from now, please take that with a grain of salt. See, look at the gators aren't going to attack me. Ryan Styles. ever since I watched the film Hot Shots. Oh, yes. Very, yes. And I think he still does the show. Even nowadays, I think he still does the show. See, look at the bats. They don't care. The gators don't care either. I'll just drive right over the freaking gator. So if you want a way to go into the mines in a peaceful manner kind of thing, uh, definitely drive the motorbike. She's also in Ghost Whisperer. Really? That's Lana, Lana, that's Lana from Archer. Hey, Daniel, how you doing? She was on Friends? That makes sense, right? That, yeah. Okay, I can see it. She was on Friends, yeah. She was Ross's uh, girlfriend, right? She was Ross's girlfriend. So that means, is she a judge? Or is she just acting? Or are they, they're the same person <laughs> I'm not getting confused am I <laughs> she's been in a lot of stuff then hey misfire hey Medina hey Medina Aisha. Aisha, baby. Aisha Tyler. Oh, yeah. Aisha Tyler. Yeah, now that name's... Yeah, Aisha Tyler. Now that's starting to sound familiar. La-da-da. La-da-da-da. 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 Oh, God. I need to hit some crock meat. Hang on a sec. There we go. Hit some brood too. There we go. Nice. All right. Continue. Don't ever hit my motorcycle again, bat. Ah. There we go. There we go. Now we're home free, baby. There we go. Good stuff. One of the best parts of your stream is how creative you are with world building. Would you ever do a playthrough of Dragon Quest Builders 2 and create a world? Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, so my answer to that is... My answer to that is probably. Uh, probably. And why is it probably? Well, because uh, someone named Gavin in the community, very generous, uh, gifted me Dragon Quest Builders 2. And I've done my research on not the game, but more the fact of the people that have played driving Dragon Quest Builders 2. And they say, don't do Dragon Quest Builders 1, just play Dragon Quest Builders 2. And so I'm like, okay, so it's definitely a possibility in the future. Now, would it ever come soon? I, I, I'm really not sure. It would be a game that I probably would put as a series if... You know, once things start to slow down in the industry, if that makes any sense. Like, right now it's a super busy time for gaming. And there's a lot of games coming out. We all know about the holidays, right, coming out. That's when most games come out and all this and that. But yeah, yeah. It gets super slow after the first of the year. But I'm not saying that's when it will come. I'm just saying I just really just kind of like wait until things slow down. And then if I say this is a good time for Dragon Quest Builders, I might bring Dragon Quest Builders to the channel. Yeah. But it would be my first time ever playing it, too. A lot of those judge shows aren't real judges, as in not voted into office. Possibly they might have law degrees. This, that's not even a. <laughs> I see now. <laughs> the only thing I say is Judge Judy. 
I mean, Judge Judy lays it down. Let's be fair. I mean, I shouldn't... I mean, I don't have to use this. This actually will take me longer if I use that. So let's use our feet. Go find some rubies with our feet. Two rubies so far. That's good. I've heard good things about Dragon Quest Builders. I have. I have, I have, I have. Heard a lot of good things about it. I just bought Dragon Quest Builders 2 and I have been addicted. Oh my god. See? Now what if I get addicted? <laughs> What if I get addicted? Anyone want my husband? I picked up a I picked up my glass to take a drink and he shushed me. <laughs> what? What? He shushed you for picking up a glass? The drink? I don't under I don't even understand that. I don't even I can't comprehend what happened there. My mom and grandmother called Judge Judy the nap show because every time it was on TV, they would take a nap. Two generations of my family took naps on that show. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. I hit it. I hit it off with Judge. I love, I love watching that, that shit get, uh, get, get intense, dude. That's what I watch it for. I watch her to like, like for her to get intense. I love it. I love seeing her like get after the people. That's entertainment. That's the show, right? We're all here to get entertained. He's asleep next to me. Oh, I see. Okay, now I understand the context of being shushed. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Get in here, get in here, get in here. There we go, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Nothing. Nice, dude. Okay, that's done. Dun, 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 dun. Dragon Quest Builders has gotten three free, uh, three free DLCs. The first one or the second one has gotten free DLCs? I told him, don't shush me. I was just taking a drink. He shushed me again. <laughs> the cats make more noise than me on a regular basis. He watches TV loudly when I'm sleeping. Okay, so if anything, Danielle get... Danielle dry... Okay, Danielle... Look, look, I'm going to share secrets here. Danielle... Okay, so when I sleep, I have to have the TV on. I have to have a TV show. I have to have a movie. I have to have something. It's one way that I, it's one way for me to fall asleep. Why? It takes a long time for me to fall asleep. Uh, it takes a very long time for me to fall asleep. So I need something. I can't just lay in the darkness. It just doesn't happen. Now, Danielle is always like, she's always like giving me a hard time, right? She's always like poking at me. She's like, when we're laying in bed, right? I'll turn the TV on and then you'll hear you know the guitar from Seinfeld you hear that go off and she's like are you, are you really I said yeah she says what are you doing I said I'm, I'm I watching a little bit of TV before I go to bed she says yeah but I'm trying to sleep and this is my argument to her and she understands so we're on the same level here the argument I have to her is I say Danielle look and she's this 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 is the kind of person she is and I wish I was this person because I'm not. She's the kind of person that when she closes her eyes, like when she's like going to bed, she'll fall asleep in 37.2 seconds. It's incredible. It's incredible how fast this lady falls asleep. I'll be rolling through the opening credits of Seinfeld and she'll be out. She'll just be out. And I'm like, all right, well that, I wish I had that kind of superpower. And, and she's like, and so my, my argument is like, 
<laughs> it's always like I, I I have the TV going. She's like, why are you watching TV? And I'm like, because I need something to fall asleep to. And she says, yeah, but it's so loud. And I say, yeah, but you're going to be asleep in like 37 seconds. And then her response to that is, yeah, that's true. It's like, yeah, that is true. And then it'll take me like 45 to an hour to fall asleep. You know what's cool? We need the... They have these... Uh, they have TV headphones, right? They do have TV headphones. I can't lie down with my eyes closed and fall asleep. I know. I can't either. I wear headphones when I'm watching while he is asleep. I thought your merch finally came, but the postman was just delivering car parts. <laughs> I will say though people in the discord have been showing off their merch, which is kind of sick. It's a very cool I, I love the fact that people are getting their merch now Slowly but surely in different parts of the world people are getting um, the merch and it's really cool to see There's no reason to play the first uh, dragon quest He does fall fast asleep he does fall asleep fast though. Did I pass it, Ruby? No. Um, he does fall fall asleep fast sometimes. I'll wake up in the middle of the night and he's sleeping in the living room. I'm a 50-50 person. I either fall asleep immediately or I can't sleep at all. Dude, I'm one way, one way only. This freaking train is going one way. It takes me an hour to fall asleep. You need to wear your headphones to bed so you can listen quietly. The only way I could be well, I don't. I watch. T I watch it on the TV. So the only way I could be able to do that is if I bought like TV style headphones, you know. But I I can't like lay there in bed and like watch something on my phone. That that would be just that'd give me a freaking headache before <laughs> before I go to bed. Danielle's like my husband, goes to sleep straight away, then I'm kept up awake by his snoring. Yes, dude! And I'm not afraid to say it. Danielle snores. And I'm a super light sleeper, and she's a super heavy sleeper. So even when the TV is going, she's not waking up by the sound of the TV, because she sleeps very heavy. But, like, one thing she'll say is, like, she'll say, uh, she'll say that she'll be like, I always laugh at her when she says this. She says, okay, fine. You can have the TV on, but like, can you turn down the brightness? <laughs> can you turn down the brightness on the TV? <laughs> and I say, I say, shh. I, 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 I tap her on, I tap her on the shoulder. I say, shh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Just close your eyes, sweetie. Just close your eyes. Everything will be okay. And she closes her eyes and I rub her shoulders and maybe rub her head for a sec. Maybe rub her back. I'll scratch her back for a little bit. And then she'll be out in like 40 seconds, dude. That's the magic right there. If I ever want her to like, just like, okay, just stop complaining. And just go to sleep. Like, let me just rub your back for a sec. There you go. Now you're asleep. And now you don't have to say anything. <laughs> now you don't have to worry. You're dead asleep. It's fantastic. We all win. We have a Roku and we have an app on our phone and you can listen on your phone, but watch on the TV. It's pretty cool. But we also have a huge air conditioner motor. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I have a Roku too, but I have a very, very old Roku. I don't have any new Roku, but you said there's an app to listen on your phone. Uh, please, uh, like, send me something. Like, tell me what that app is because now I'm interested. I don't know if it has to do with the newer Rokus, but that's the Roku we use. We use a Roku in the bedroom. To be fair, usually the lamp on the in the TV going doesn't bother me. I can sleep with them going. That's because I go to bed with the TV on. My God, I am striking out on groobies today, dude. Let's go through here. I have trouble falling asleep, but my sister turned uh, me on to heads. Oh God, turned me on to head. Oh my God. Turn me on to Headspace on YouTube. There's some relaxation stories for work. Oh, really? Nice. Relaxation. Headspace. I've never heard of Headspace. I sleep while listening to your vids. Lately, I listen to a lot of your Dinkum vids. I fall asleep so fast that I have to rewatch your vids. <laughs>
He asked me to turn the brightness down on PC. I don't own a TV. I watch things on my PC. So I guess you get kind of like... Oh my god, I can't go through this, can I? I'm on the edge of the world, so that kind of glitches out. That sucks. Kind of on the same boat then, right? As in, like, the brightness thing. This is a headband that has headphones in them like the one you are wearing but it goes over your ears it's really cool what what the heck are you serious Oh, there's a button on the Roku app that you control the Roku app with. I'll have to look into that. I'll definitely have to look into that then. I did not know that was a thing. That's actually pretty cool. I use the Vizio uh, app sometimes because we have a Vizio TV. So we kind of use the Vizio app as a remote control. That's pretty cool though, the Roku. Okay, I'll have to look into that. Oh my god, dude. I feel like, like, I can't believe what we've gone through today in this mine shaft. It's like nothing. Her dungeons and good stuffs are more populated, generated in the middle of the map. Not sure if that's true. Oh, okay. I did not know that. If that's true or not. Da 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 da. Got through. Hey, yo. Uh, uh oh, I'm actually, hang on a sec, hang on a sec. Let me just get some here. There we go. I had to fix my window on the other side. There we go. Die. Both my husband and I have headband headphones. What the frick, dude? Nobody knew about these head, like this forehead. Did not know about no headband headphones. What the hell is happening? What are you talking about here? Headband headphones. Y'all going on about this. Never heard it in my entire life. Hey, Colin, how's it going? How quickly are you attacked in the mine? Will I be able to get anything good before I die? Uh, you're attacked right away. At least by the bats. The bats, you are attacked right away. Unless you're driving a motorcycle down here, they will not attack you. If you drive a motorcycle, nothing will attack you, but uh, as soon as you're off it, the bats will just come and swarm you. And then you'll run into some like gators and some devils and all that. I had the head I have the head band earphones. Very helpful for drowning out snoring as well. What the frick? My god. People have these like like people are ahead of me in technology here apparently especially when it comes to maybe possibly sleeping <laughs> oh my lord they're good for sleeping i got my headband headphone on amazon my god i gotta hit a brew here no i won't hit a brew we're almost about to leave it's almost midnight still haven't found anything except for two rubies that's all we found was two rubies Couple of dungeons, but mostly two rubies. Just ate some dino nuggets. Hopefully you dip them into some barbecue sauce. I would die on the motorcycle from crashing before any bat could ever see me. <laughs> yeah, Roku makes a remote you could plug headphones into. Those are that's like that's definitely like the newer Roku's too. That's how old the Roku... So the Roku I have is is pretty damn old. I got the Roku. The Roku I have now is a Roku, the same Roku I got back when I was working at Radio Shack. Like, almost eight years ago. So it's like an eight-year-old Roku, Roku, if not more. It's before they ever had, like, the headphone Roku one. 
But yeah, that's actually really cool though. The Roku remote where you just plug the headphones in. Sweet baby rays. Oh, that's even better. That's even better. Is Radio Shack still in business? Uh, no. Corpor corporation, no. Uh, franchise, technically, yes. There is a Radio Shack that is like three and a half hours away from me, but it's a franchise one. I don't even know how and if they are still available or still open. I saw they were open maybe like a couple years ago, but yeah. That's pretty much that. Do you use a helicopter? I don't see a big benefit of bike or helicopter given the telepads, mainly just jet ski. Well, the bike is very benefit. Well, we found the bike being beneficial in the mine shaft here. So the bike does help in the mine shaft. Um, helicopter. I have not had the helicopter at all yet. I leaked the headband headphones in the Discord under real life. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that, Christy. So I'm going to call it right there because we didn't get anything. We got nothing. We got two rubies and a couple of items. That was actually probably one of the weakest runs we've had in a long time. I heard there's one blockbuster left. There was. Not anymore. I believe that blockbuster was up in Oregon. But I believe it finally actually went out of business also. But yeah, there was technically one blockbuster for a while, but I think recently um, it just uh, went out of business. My husband has a Roku TV, uses his computer screen. As his computer screen? I see. It's a universal rem Roku remote. You just program it like a normal universal remote. Hey, yo! Go and grab some of that. Yeah, rip blockbuster. <laughs> I I had, I had good times during blockbuster time like days. I discovered a lot of cool games back in uh, the blockbuster days. It's actually one of the ways I discovered Fallout Three back then. When that game first released, Fallout Three, I think it was like two thousand six, two thousand seven, or something. I discovered Fallout 3 from Blockbuster, so if it wasn't for Blockbuster, I wouldn't have been able to... Well, maybe I would have stumbled upon it later, but... Um, yeah, that was like my first, like... That was my first Fallout game, and I got it from Blockbuster. I rented it for seven days. I rented it, and I liked it so much that I went back and I said, You know what? I'm buying it, and I bought it. Here we go... We actually got to save two keys. That's kind of cool. Pix Pixie B says, hi. Uh, hi, chat. I'm usually lurking. Found the channel back with Sandrock and have been watching daily ever since. Thank you so much for the content. The channel is my favorite on YouTube at the moment. Well, Pixby, Pixie B, that's very kind to you. Very kind to you to say. And uh, shout out to you and hello to you, Pixie B. Yeah. Welcome. And thank you for sticking around, even when you found Sandrock. And after Sandrock, thank you for sticking around. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Actually going to make some concrete, too. Just to have. <clears throat> How am I liking this game? Well, the fact that I have probably almost 100 hours in it now. And the fact that we're on day 26... Tells you I am enjoying it. <laughs> hey, Bright. How you doing, Bright? Good to see you, Bright. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. The Blockbuster in Oregon is still open? I live in Portland? That's interesting. Because I was... I I thought it closed. I got I to gotta see this. I got to check this out. Do they still have it? Is it in Portland or is it in uh, a different part of Oregon?
Because the one in Portland, I believe, is closed. Wait, the world's last blockbuster is still operating? Permanently closed? Portland. Okay, so the one in Portland is closed. I see. One of the last. I guess technically there is... The one I was talking about was in Portland. That one's closed. But there is one in Bend, Oregon. There's one in Bend, Oregon. A blockbuster in Bend, Oregon. Has a 4.9 review on Google with 4,000 reviews on Google. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> oh my god. A 4.9 out of 5 stars with 4,000 reviews. <laughs> oh my god. What does that tell you? <laughs> Isn't Radio Shack called the source now? Uh, well, I don't know, honestly. All I know is that there's... I, I don't know as a corporation what Radio Shack is, if it even exists. I don't think it does. But the franchises, there's a bunch of franchise Radio Shacks that I know that stick, stuck with the name Radio Shack. There's a couple of Radio Shacks here in California, I think. Maybe a couple, if not maybe one. I haven't used proper computer monitors in ages. TVs are cheaper and tend to have better quality. I would say that. It, it all depends on what kind of gaming you're doing. Um, if you're not doing any, if you're doing very casual gaming, TVs are definitely good. If you're doing competitive gaming, which I'm sure people for the most part aren't in this chat, um, then you want to go with like high refresh rate monitors with a very, uh, uh, you know, res very quick response rate, like milliseconds talking, but I'm sure we're not all <laughs> competitively gaming in here. I'll slide these over now. Wasn't there a blockbuster that turned into an Airbnb? That would be hilarious. How do I get my laptop to go to my Roku? Um, what are you trying to do exactly? How to get my laptop to go to my Roku? Oh, an, or Airbnb themed blockbuster. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think there's an Airbnb themed blockbuster, yeah. They're making a bunch of Airbnbs nowadays themed after a bunch of stuff. It's like the, it's like the new trend now. Like, oh yeah, come to my Airbnb where we have a themed blockbuster. We have a themed Stranger Things. We have a themed um, Walking Dead. We have a themed uh, uh, Toy Story, whatever the heck it is. There we go. Could you take a screenshot of your water tower slash crops slash sprinkler setup and post it in the Discord? Yeah, I can do that. I can do that. It's not perfect, I will admit. My setup here is not perfect at all. It's not the, um... It's not perfect, but if you are curious... I don't know if you could probably see this at night. I might have to do it during the day, but... Maybe I can go like this, at least. So, imagine four, right? Four. You have the tower in the middle, wherever you're doing it. Right, imagine four. Four sides, and then from each four side, I um, I chose a path because it's only two tiles, left or right, and then I go two tiles in, and then the third tile is where the sprinkler is, and then I do the same process out and out. But yeah, I'll, I'll take a picture of these. Let's go here. This should be fine. You should be able to see this. There we go. Get in all different angles, please. Okay. Bam. That should be good. 
There we go. This thing doesn't have noise when you put it in reverse? What kind of... What, what is that? Clover? Oh god. Put that away. Oh yeah, build camera. That's a good shout. Build camera. Good shout. Good shout. Let me redo that then. Good shout. Very, very good shout. Oh, the kale's re ready to go too. Good shout. Build camera. There we go. There we go. Might as well grab this since it's here to go. Right? Here we go. Get the kale. Uh, whoops. <laughs> now go. There we go. Get the kale, baby. Even though... Wait a sec. I don't want to do this, though, right? I don't want to do this because it doesn't help with our farming, right? So I want to pick it individually. If I pick it individually, this helps with my farming skill, yeah? Anybody confirm that, yeah? Dinkum just updated. Just a small patch about the vehicles issue for multiplayer. Oh yeah. See if it's if it's multiplayer issues or like vehicles for multiplayer issues. I have no idea what any of those bugs are. <sighs> We're filled. We're filled with kale. Um right, I'll put the kale in here for now. We need another chest of uh, raw, uh, raw food. I forgot to put the motorbike back where it needs to go too. Send it. Did I put a thing in here? I did. Okay, got you in there. Good. It does seem strange that the uh, tractor wouldn't help farming. That's at least what I've been told, and I hope that's not the case, but if it is, I want to, I guess, harvest it by hand. Still no XP when using the tractor. That's a, that sucks. That sucks. I've only just started, but seeing your town, I am amazed at the price in its early access. Yeah, absolutely, uh, Cruella. Cruella, you're you're absolutely right on that. Price and er its early access. And there hasn't, and even to add on that, it's so new that we haven't gotten our first content uh, drop yet. Which, by the way, if you're watching this and you don't know, and I will say this again, go over on Steam, go to the store page, scroll down on Dinkum, on the Dinkum store page, scroll down. There should be like a community post thing that you can view all or something. When you view all, you can see the roadmap to this game and see the future content updates coming out too. Yeah. But, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it in today's stream. Hope you guys enjoyed today's stream of Dinkum. Yeah, it is the three hour mark, and so this is where we're going to stop it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed today's stream. If you guys did, please make sure to hit the like button. Yeah, it's been three hours already. Yeah, three hours indeed. I want to say a special thank you to a lot of people today. Thank you so much. Very, very kind. Very kind. First of all, I want to say uh, thank you to Karsten and Sue Ann uh, for re-upping your membership for two months last night. That was very, very generous of you. Uh, it's Zinc coming in with the Now We're in Business membership la uh, last night as well. So thank you. It's Zinc. That was very, very kind to you indeed. Uh, thank you to Rescues uh, Greyhound. Yeah, Rescues Greyhound for becoming a member of the channel. Thank you so much. And Adi, Adi, thank you so much for becoming a member as well. Gujar, thank you for the 25 super chat, 25 cent super, super chat. Lexi, Lexi, thank you, Lexi, for the super chat as well. Ginger, big shout to Ginger. Ginger Empire for the super chat, the 20th super chat. If you don't know who Ginger is, the Ginger Empire is the Ginger, the other person playing Dinkum. I know there's a lot of people playing Dinkum, but Ginger Empire is also playing Dinkum. So go check that out as well and a uh oh my lord how how can i even i i i it doesn't say here it really doesn't say which actually kind of 
drives me nuts a little bit. It doesn't say where my gifted memberships are. Oh, man. Where did my gifted memberships go? Audi, thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, Audi, I believe, is the one who uh, also get a d gifted membership as well. I think. I think. It doesn't show me here. Damn it. Um, Craiger, Craiger, thank you so much for the uh, super chat as well. And the people that did do the gifted memberships today, thank you very, very much. It was very kind. Uh, Fiona, Fiona, Fiona was, that's memory. Fiona with the 10 uh, gifted memberships. That was incredible. Uh, Sydney, Sydney, thank you so much for becoming a member. Ellie, Ellie, thank you so much for becoming a member too as well. That was very kind also. Darren, Darren, thank you for the gifted memberships also. Timothy, thank you for the super chat also. Uh, Craiger with the multiple super chats. And all the above. Thank you guys so much for chilling out. And all those people that became members today and that got gifted memberships, make sure to go over to the uh, membership tab. Scroll down. Or let's go over to the membership tab. You can scroll down. There's a lot of videos and a lot of streams that we've had for memberships. If you do want to check those out, they are pretty fun. Um, they're not gaming or anything like that. They're not gaming related. They're different related. So if you are interested in that, make sure to check that out indeed. Thank you guys for the uh, gifted memberships today. Um, for the ones that did, and I'm sorry, but my list doesn't tell me who did the gifted memberships off of memory, so just know I, I, I am really appreciated and really thankful for y'all for doing that for me today. Um, if you want more content made being by me, make sure to hit the subscribe button and all that good stuff. People are starting to get their merch, by the way, guys. People are starting to get their actual merch in the mail. So if you want to get merch by me, go to www shopcans.com to pick up your merch use uh, code teddy for 10 percent off on all your orders and there you go you can buy some merch also uh if you want more content by me also follow me on instagram twitter tiktok and you can also become a patreon if you want to become a patreon thank you all so much and thank you guys yesterday for thirteen thousand subscribers kind of crazy right very much crazy. So yesterday we hit 13,000 subscribers. Really do appreciate that. And I cannot wait to see you guys soon. We will be playing. Uh, we will be going back into Two Point Campus tomorrow. So if you want to join with me with Two Point Campus tomorrow, definitely hang out. 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And uh, we'll definitely get it going. Other than that, it's been a pleasure and honor to be with you guys here today. Hope you all have a wonderful day, wonderful morning, wonderful afternoon, wonderful evening, wherever you may be. And do as always. Take care.